Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Let's allow some people to get up in here, man. Big shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I just wanted to hop on here, kind of, you know, chop it up with everybody, man. I had a little bit of time to kill, and I figure I'd hop on here and chop it up with y'all, man. What's going on, though? What's going on? But, uh, but yeah, man, unfortunately, what's up, Joseph? What's up, Joseph? Uh, what's up, Slim? What's up, everybody? Like I said, man, I just wanted to... Kansas City is watching in here. What's up, Kansas City? What's good, Lamar? Your favorite dog breeder. You're my favorite. Appreciate that, Joseph. You're my favorite. Man, appreciate that. We are Killinois Kennels, man. Appreciate that. Reviews with Mark. What's up, Mark? Love the dogs y'all breed, homie, from Texas. We got Santiago Vargas up in here. Big shout out to him uh dre what's up man what's up everybody what's up Corey? what's up dexter shout out to texas what's up wayne jude from australia we got australia in the house man big shout out to everybody tuning in yeah everybody please make sure you guys hit that like button man that way all these notifications go out we can get a real good live, you know get a real good uh conversation going here we got Boston Crawford. What's up from Southwest Michigan? What's up, man? The Island TV, Gary, Indiana in the house. Michael Smith. What's up, homie from New Orleans? Echo Line Bullies, Florida in the house. Killinois, what's up, Killinois Kennels? I'm waiting on the merchandise. Man, we're trying to get it going, man. Like I like I mentioned in our last live, everything that, you know, as far as merchandise and all that, all that stuff's going to be popping up on here real, real soon, man. As soon as we get done with these next few litters, we're going to get all that ro rolling, man. We got some real nice hats on the way, shirts, all that stuff, man. A bunch of real nice stuff coming soon. We got uh, Victor. Victor in here. What's good, Victor? D butt, what's up? What's up? Mike's silky bully kennel. What up? Dre, what up from New Jersey? Hey, good night. I'm from Guam. Hey man, thanks for shouting. You know, thanks for tuning in before you go to sleep. What's up? Well, Houston's in the house. We got Killinois. What's up? Island TV Killinois. Salute. Salute to you, man. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. Like I said, you know, we're gonna get through all these what's ups and stuff. If anybody's got any questions they want to, you know, want answered, just leave it in the comment section. And that's kind of how I do the lives over here, man. We just, uh, you know, read the comments and go from there. I ain't got nothing really too specific that I want to talk about. We just get a real good conversation going on in here. But again, we got 52 people in here right now. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Travis P, what's up from South Carolina? Shout out to you, man. Burmy G, checking in, brother. Check your DM. This is Bernie from Atlanta. All right, that's what's up, man. The best way to get in tune with me, man, is give me a call on my phone. Um, it's We get so many messages, text messages, Instagram messages, Facebook messages, that it is completely impossible to keep up with it all, man. So best way to reach me is over the phone. It's just way easier. I can... You know, anything you got to ask, I can answer it real fast. So, you know, please give me a call. And we also, we leave our number at the end of every video. If for anybody that's, you know, interested in getting a hold of me. What's California guy? What's up? The exotic taking over the game. Yeah, man. I, you know, not over here on this channel, channel it ain't, man. But, you know, shout out to the exotic, you know, shout out to the exotics, man. But uh, Lorenzo Young, what's up, Renzo? What's up? Big shout out to Renzo. We got Clayton Morris in the house. What's up, big dog? We got Megan in the house. Salute. Your dogs are dope. We appreciate that, Megan. Appreciate that. Everybody, uh, please make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that like button. We got Joseph Renz. I'm your first liker in the live stream. That's what's up, man. We appreciate you. We appreciate you, all you guys that are waiting for those notifications and boom, hop in these videos and all that real, real fast, man. We appreciate y'all. What's that? Um, Calvin, he says, do you judge competitions? Yes, yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. I'm a, a senior judge for the BRC Global, and I'm also a senior judge for the IBKC. And, um, you know, I've done some work for the IBC, which is a, a Brazilian registry. So, yes, sir, I do confirmation shows. I judge and stuff. I've been taking a little break right now because of puppies and things like that. But here soon, I'm going to be getting back out there judging shows, you know, bringing you guys a lot of good content. The next show vlog that I'm going to be putting on the channel is a show that I judged in the Philippines. It's going to be a really good video, one of the best videos we've ever put on this channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Brian Collins says, what's up from... Pembroke Township, Illinois. That's what's up, man. What's up? Victor says, Victor, Midwest Bully Throne, Aurora, Illinois. That's what's up, man. Shout out to y'all for tuning in. Luis, Cordova, Puerto Rico. We got Puerto Rico in the house. That's what's up, man. Big shout out to everybody that's tuning in from different countries and, you know, here in the United States. Please, if, if you guys are in here, please do not text me, man. I'm getting a lot of text messages right now. Please don't, you know, if you got anything, just leave it in this comments and I'll get to it. I promise you. I'm going to be doing this live for, you know, however long we can keep it rocking in here. As much as you guys keep asking questions and stuff, I'll be, I'll be answering them all for you. So how often do you breed? It seems like y'all sell out fast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. San Diego, we do, man. And the reason why we do is, is because we don't take deposits and we don't lock in people. I wouldn't say that's the reason why we do. The reason why we do is because we got some really nice dogs produce some really nice litters. But yes, the pups do sell out fast. And that's because there's a lot of people interested in our dogs, you know. You know, we don't take deposits. We don't lock them in. Once the puppies are ready to go, we drop a video on our YouTube channel and they go on a first come first serve basis, man. So, um, you know, they do sell out fast, but it's not impossible to get a dog from us. All you got to do is, is make sure you're tuned in and make sure that you give us a call when we drop that video of them for sale. You purchase your dog right on the phone and that's how you get locked in on a puppy. And one thing I do want to mention for anybody that's interested in purchasing one of our American bully puppies, make sure you call me and me only. Nobody should be contacting you. Please don't leave your number in the comments of these videos because there's a real good chance that you're going to get scammed from somebody. The only way you could buy a dog from Illinois Kennels is calling my phone and I leave my number at the end of every video and talking to me on the phone, not through text message, not through email, not through nothing. You got to call me and talk to me on the phone. So we got uh, Robert Haird, shout out to you in Ohio. We got Adrian from Raleigh, North Carolina. Big shout out to you. We got Joseph, he's from Minnesota. We got Eric Smith from Detroit. Kenny Davis from Missouri, Kansas City in the house. We got Reginald Jenkins, Kansas City in the house. Grizzly, New York in the house. BJ Macho says, love your productions from Connecticut. Big shout out to you, man. We appreciate your uh, support. Cool One says, what up, bro? Love your work. Mastermind Bully Company, Jersey City, New Jersey. That's what's up, man. Thanks for tuning in. Christopher Martinez is Chris from PA with Killinois Roxy. That's what's up, man. Big shout out to Christopher. He's part of the Killinois family. He got a pup out of uh, Premier and Fendi. Big shout out to him for tuning in. If any of you guys are there, uh, you know, people that actually purchase a dog from us in this uh, comments, hashtag Killinois family in the comments of this video. What's it say here? Okay, we got Boss Hog Go. Thanks for showing some quality in the dog game from Louisiana. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Joseph is from Minnesota. Six generations, Rudy. What up, man? Much love from out here in Northern California. That's what's up, man. Shout out to you, Rudy. Benji Garcia said, what's up, big dog? American Bully Family says, Chicago in the house. Shout out to Chicago. We got Dom says, what's up, all the way from Guam. We got Guam in the house, man. Big shout out to everybody. It looks like we got a you know, a lot of different countries in the house here uh, tonight, man. Big shout out to all you guys. What's, this? what's up from St. Joseph, Missouri? We got Kenny Davis. Big shout out to you, man. Christopher Martinez, I grabbed 
the Oreo stud credit. It's about to be crazy. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Reviews with Mark. I need to I need to budget a pup in my life from Illinois. Show quality as I love showing. What's an idea price? On an average, you're gonna be looking at uh, you know, around twenty-five to thirty-five hundred. Sometimes they're a little bit more, which the some of the pups we have right now are that. And, uh, you know, sometimes they're a little bit less. It really just depends what we got going on, man. And, uh, you know, just make sure you stay tuned. And, uh, you know, if you like show quality dogs, you apparently you know what a show quality pup is. We put up plenty of footage of our pups up for you to look at. If you see something that catches your eye, give us a ring. We got 82 in the people, 82 people in the house, 35 likes. Please make sure you guys hit that like button. We got Phil in the house, Killer Noise. Big shout out to uh, Phil, man. Shout out to you, big dog. Man, you gonna pull up on me, Phil? You gonna pull up on me tonight? What's up, bro? We got Mo Money Navarez, yeah. What's good, big? What's good, D? Big time trucking, man. Big shout out to you, uh, big time trucking. It's another person that shows mad love on our channel. Reginald Smith, how do you become a judge? You know, <laughs> there's um different registries have different things that you can um that, you know that you gotta have to become a judge um you know some registries you gotta have showed and produced so many champions things like that you know it just really depends you can't just have nothing to do with dog shows never been to a dog show and just come be a judge you know what i mean you actually gotta know what's going on and they gotta know that you know what's going on you know what i mean Joseph Renz, I've been sub to you for two years. Big shout out to you, Joseph. We appreciate the support, man. Blood burner. And he does answer the phone. Doesn't try to rush you off. Real stand-up guy. Appreciate that, man. You know, there's no way that we can answer every single call that we get, but I do try to get to him, man. And sometimes it's just like, you know, if I answered every single person that called my phone, man, I'd get absolutely nothing done. You know what I mean? And right now I'm a super busy man. So, you know, if I have missed your call, I'm sorry, but just try to give us a call back sometime, you know? Joseph Renz, what's up from Minnesota? Yeah, man, big shout out to you in Minnesota, Joe. The Island TV. Can we get an update video and walk through the kennel? Man, we're going to, you know, right now, man, we got some major things going on with the kennel, man. And uh, as soon as everything's done out there, we will be doing that. And there's going to be a lot of good videos and stuff. You know, I'm talking about some, we got some major, major things going on, man. You guys, here soon, you guys won't believe our setup. You will not believe the setup that we have. And I'm just always that type of guy, man. We're not going to put videos up of us working on it and all that man we're going to show you boom the final product and here soon we'll be doing videos on that make sure you stay tuned what's that do you accept debit cards on the phone um you know we accept like cash app and zale and things like that i'm sure you could use a credit card for that you know what i mean What's up all the way from Florida? Love your pups, bud. Appreciate that, Rudy Cruz. Appreciate that. Big time trucking. If anybody has had a change to purchase, ch chance to purchase a pup from you, would they be able to join the dog shows under the Killinois name? I mean, you know, once you buy a dog from us, you're, you know, it's going to say Killinois in front of your dog's name. You know what I mean? Um, you know, anybody that buys a dog from us, if we come out to the show and we got a booth out there and stuff like that, man, you guys are more than welcome to come post up at our booth and all that for sure, man. You know, you know, Alan, you know, Alan, that's how he became part of our team. He bought a dog from us, met us out at some shows, got to know us. We got to know him and, um, you know, now he's part of the Killinois, you know, Killinois Kennels. He's part of our team. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, we encourage everybody that buys dogs from us, you know, get them dogs out to the shows. I wouldn't take them out there too young, you know, just because I myself don't take young dogs to dog shows, but that's just me. You know, I'm super paranoid. I don't want my dogs getting sick or anything. And, you know, you never know what could happen. But, you know, if you got some, you know, 
nice adult sized dog we highly recommend you bring him out you know what i mean highly do Jax, you know alan's boy Jax, he bought that dog from us and he's one major away from being a brc global champion big shout out to alan we got all right kenyan strange what's up carrie campbell what's your price puppy's price range on an average our pups are in the 25 to 35 range Sometimes they're a little bit more, sometimes they're a little bit less. The pups that we have right now are some real nice, top-notch, high-quality American bullies. And the first two litters that we're going to be dropping are going to be a little bit more expensive than usual. That's something that I want to put that out there for everybody that's tuned in. They're not going to be these outrageous, crazy prices, but they are going to be a little bit more than what you're used to on our channel. And the quality of the pups doesn't lie. You guys have seen those sneak peeks. Do you breed XL or just pockets? We breed pockets and standards, you know. We've had some XLs. Be, you know, in the past, we do got a couple bigger dogs that might be XL, like on the low range of an XL. So, you know, we're not really scared to mess with no class. You know what I mean? All right, where we at here? Daniel, Daniel says, showing love from out in Southern California, man. Big shout out to you, Daniel. Big house, 915. What's up, bro? I love your kennel. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm looking forward to a pup soon. And I respect the way you do business. Appreciate that, man. You know that, you know, we don't, we kind of do things unlike any other people out there. You know what I mean? We do our, you know, we do it our way and things have been working out really good for that. And we've been making a lot of people happy. You know what I mean? For all these other kennels that got deposits, got dogs locked in. A lot of you guys are watching those channels without a hope in the world of getting a puppy. With ours, we don't do it like that. First come, first serve. And once we drop that video on our channel, you just got to call in, be that lucky caller, and boom, you get the puppy. And, uh, you know, the, you know, for those that are going to be calling in on this litter and um, trying to get something off of one of our upcoming litters here, you know, um, I hot, you know, if you call and nobody answers, that means we're on the other line with another customer. So just make sure, you know, give it a little bit and try calling back. You know, whenever we drop these videos, there's tons of people calling in. So as I'm talking to a customer trying to finally, you know, finalize the deal, as I hang up, boom, there's another call right then and I just answer it. There's no time for me to go back and look through them or none of that stuff, man. So don't give up. If you call, you if you call and then you don't get no answer, don't give up, man. Just keep trying. It usually takes us a good three to four hours at least before all the puppies sell out. You know what I mean? Just because we have to handle business. We don't have like 15 numbers you can call in and 15, we don't do it like that. There's usually just one phone, you know, not usually. There's always one phone that you call in and that's my phone. And once I figure out that you wanna go through with the pup, I'll have my girlfriend text you from another number and she's gonna give you the information you need. BJ Macho says, you already know, Brother Man, Gre was Super Prince Ball, Brother Man, Greg from Texas, great pups, I've seen, great pups I've seen so far, I'm looking forward to doing some business, that's what's up, man, if something catches your eye, give us a call and we'll definitely take care of you, if you guys are, you know, anybody that's for coming in and out or any of that, make sure you guys hit that like button, what's this say? Oscar Crow, what's good? Saludos from Chi Town. Shout out to you and Chi Town, man. Shout out to you, Christopher Martinez, Killinois family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anytime you see that hashtag Killinois, hashtag Killinois family, that's somebody that has purchased a dog from our kennel. If you see that in the co uh, comments of our videos and things like that, that's what you're seeing. What's that? Franklin Ferguson. What's up from Atlanta, Georgia, man? What's up, man? Big shout out to you for tuning in. Shout out to Atlanta. Ro Rolando Horton. Hello from Omaha, Nebraska. Dayton. What's up, man? Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Diego Meza. What's up, bro? Hey, I have a question, bro. At buy a dog, but 
of the guy, they don't give me the papers. Who can I find a place to get the papers for my dog? Man, nine times out of 10, you're not going to be able to get the papers on that dog, man. They probably sold it to you without papers. And if the parents don't have papers, then you're not going to get papers on your dog. Sorry about that, but that's the truth, man. BW, if I bought a female from you, then use Killinois Stud, would the litter be able to be under my name or would it still be Killinois on the pups? I mean, you can ultimately do whatever you want to do on that situation. It's your litter. You can put whatever you want on that. You know what I mean? I mean, in reality, it's going to be a Killinois breeding, but you know what I mean? You can put whatever name you want on that, man. We're not petty like that. We don't care about that type of stuff. You can't put your name on, like, say you do it and we're getting a puppy off of it or something. You won't be able to put it on our puppy, but you can put it on whatever other puppy you want to. That's going to be your production. And we highly recommend that anybody that buys a dog from us and they do, um, you know, they do want to breed their dog. We highly recommend that you bring it back and breed it with us because we're going to have the best blood that's going to tie in with that. Nine times out of 10, we're going to have the litter mate, either brother or sister to your dog. And we already got plans for that blood. So again, like I said, we highly recommend it. Nick Zumwalt said, Washington State, looking for some bullies, trying to start a kennel here in Washington. Do you guys have any available? We do have some pups that are going to be available here really soon, man. You know, um, I was going to put them up this Sunday. I had all intentions on posting the puppies this Sunday. But then I realized that it was going to be Easter and, you know, everybody's got stuff going on on Easter. You know what I mean? So I just said, you know what? We're going to go ahead and postpone it. And also, I didn't get a chance to get it all the way done. These videos take me a lot of time, man. I mean, there's videos that are 25 minutes long of footage. And then I got to do a talk over to kind of make that halfway interesting to you guys. And it's kind of hard to do that, man, to come up with 25 minutes of different stuff to tell you guys. You know what I mean? So... Sometimes these videos take a little bit longer and, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, I'm going to do my best to probably have that video up by Monday, Tuesday. And then, uh, you know, we'll, but for anybody that's interested in getting a pup off of this next litter, make sure you stay tuned to the next video of puppies. Everything you're going to want to know is going to be in that video. And, uh, I'm also going to let you know when the puppies are going to be for sale. So... What's up, Hen? Jay Hen, what's up, big dog? My bad. Pull up, Phil. That's right, pull up. Burn. What, Beamer and Mercedes, the bully. Big homie, it's my dog's birthday tomorrow. That's what's up, man. That's another person that's part of the Killinois family. You got a pup from Vanilla Gorilla and White Widow. Big shout out to you, man. I'm Them dogs are starting to mature really nice, man. I can't wait to see them in the future. Anthony Jeffries dog from Illinois kennels there's anthony jeffries from cincinnati bro i've been following you and i'll be getting one of your pups soon that's what's up all right that's what's up man well you know whenever you're ready get with us and we'll take care of you for sure your merchandise is dope appreciate that man yeah we got we got a lot of real nice stuff coming up man i'm telling you you know i don't know if we're gonna do the new era hats for everybody because I don't know if everybody's going to want to pay for that. You know, new era hats are expensive. So we might do a run of some new eras and some, you know, just some other stuff. You know what I mean? Because not everybody's going to want to spend that bread on that, on them new eras, man. But we do have some, man, we got some of the, the merchandise stuff is crazy, man. The stuff that we got coming up, man, you guys are going to trip out on for sure. What's the price on the pups? Like I like I've mentioned in this video a million, you know, a couple times here, bud. Between twenty five and thirty five hundred is our average. But on, you know, sometimes they are a little bit more. Sometimes they're a little bit less. It's all dependent on the quality, and we price them as we see them. You know what I mean? We wait till they get a little bit older. That way we know what kind of quality we're looking at. We don't want to overcharge you guys, and we don't want to undercut ourselves at the same time. Looks like we got about 115 people in here, man. Make, make sure you guys hit that like button, man. And big shout out to everybody tuning in. Casey, 
McGollum, Mississippi in the house. Love watching you beautiful dogs always. Appreciate that, Casey. S. Wiley, big homie. How much y'all just ballpark price? Basically broke that down right there. Jay Hen, what's up? Jay from New Jersey. Big shout out to you in New Jersey. Clayton Morris, when's the next video, big homie? Um, I'm shooting for like, you know, hopefully Monday. Hopefully Monday, you know, tomorrow I'm going to spend all day trying to get this video done. And uh, I'm going to, you know, hopefully, you know, ha hopefully have it up for Monday or Tuesday. I can't make any promises because like I said, man, you know, sometimes things go good. I get these videos done exactly when I want to. Sometimes things don't go so good. And it holds up a little bit, you know what I mean? I mean, majority of me not dropping the video today or tomorrow on Sunday is because it was Easter, man. I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? Like, I'll have time to deal with it myself, you know what I mean? But, you know, we're not gonna drop a video of puppies for sale on Easter day, man. We'll, we'll wait a couple days later. So basically just stay tuned for that next video, especially if you're interested in pups. The next video, though, the puppies will not be for sale. That next video is going to be a long video of tons of footage of the pups. And I understand that some people say, man, we don't care about all that. But there are people that do, man. There are people that do care about all that footage. There's people that are buying these dogs from all across the world. And they want to see what they're purchasing. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's, we kind of, you know, like... And initially we wasn't doing videos like that, but as we started doing videos like that, people started demanding videos like that. Then that's where we're at and that's how we got to do them, man. And they just take a little bit of time, you know, they take a little bit of time, man. Not everything goes smooth always. Something might go bad and next thing you know, it takes me two, three more days to get the video done. And that's kind of what we're in right now. You know what I mean? All right. S. Wally, I just broke down the price. Hopefully, you're still in here. Tiffany ha ha Tiffany Hardman, excited to get one of your pups, Tiffany in Dallas. That's what's up. You know, get with us whenever you're ready, and we'll definitely take care of you. BW, can you put puppies that are up for sale on a stack box in the videos? <laughs> nah, man, we're not really going to do that, man, because I'm going to tell you right now, the stack box is a, is a, that's a, that's just, with a stack box, you can make any dog look correct. A stack box isn't like somebody showing you the dog. You know what I mean? You know, with a stack box, I can take any puppy and put it on that stack box and I can make it look like it's correct. You understand what I'm saying? So stack boxes really doesn't do nothing but hurt you. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't care what none of these other guys are saying or what they're doing in their videos that's the real you can put any dog in this world on a stack box and you can make it look correct okay so that's a little trick for you know there's a little uh inside information for you guys that's why we don't put them on stack boxes we ain't got nothing to hide we're producing nice quality dogs and it just is what it is you know what i mean so that's why we do it like that we try to get good footage of them stacked up you know as best as we can but um yeah we're not going to do it on stack boxes and stuff because that's really just to throw you off you know what i mean Diego Meza, can you send me your number, bro? I have a question, please. Man, leave your question in here, bro. Now's the time, you know what I mean? But you can find my number at the end of every single video that we drop on this channel. But please give me a call once we're done doing this live. Donald J DJ, King Food, do you feed bullies? King food, do you feed bullies? Kind of food I feed bullies, probably. Um, yeah, man. I mean, you know, I don't really like to promote the dog food that we that we feed right now, man. I mean, and to be honest with you, it's not like it's that much better than anything else. I'm really gonna stop promoting that dog food because you know, I reached out to the this company trying to see, you know, telling them, hey, we got a lot of people asking what this food is. Can we get a little deal? And we'll promote you on our YouTube channel and really didn't get a good response. So, 
you know, I, I don't really want to promote them too much on here anymore, but you know, this will be the last time that I do it. We feed Wholesome's dog food, Wholesome's dog food. It's a real good, like, you know, it's a mid tier dog food. It's not the best stuff in the world and it's far from the worst. You know what I mean? But that's what we feed our dogs. Do you know when the next litter will be coming? The next litter is going to be available here within the next, like, really, really soon. I'm going to try to post a video of them for you guys to look at them here in the next couple days, and they'll be for sale shortly after that. No, Oreo, Dayton, Louis V line, or Oro. Okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not for, too familiar on who that is, man. But you know, that's what's up, bro. Congratulations. Rob716, what's up, man? Nyla's watching your live. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Big shout out to Robert Nichols in here, man. He's got a really, really bad female out of uh Stax and Prada. And it's funny, man. His um he's got like hella videos and pictures of uh his girl Nala that he purchased from us of her watching our youtube videos man big shout out to the homie robert out there man you're doing an amazing job with that girl bro she's bad ass s wally straight up straight out of florida 954 stand up kk what's up with your price on the pups like i told you man 25 to, you know usually 25 to 3500 sometimes a little bit more sometimes a little bit less it really just depends do you know if i missed how much is the shipping now you haven't missed out man and shipping it really just depends on um the shipping price really just depends on exactly um you know where you're located some you know and what we got going on as far as the shipping with the dogs, we're not one of these petty kennels that, you know, has a flat rate for shipping. You know what I mean? A lot of kennels do, you know, a lot of people do that. They have this one flat rate for shipping and they just charge everybody the same thing for shipping. And then they work it out with their ground shipper and probably make an extra 150, maybe even 200 bucks off of you. You know what I mean? It really just depends. But, um, our price on shipping is whatever the ground shipper is going to charge you. So, um, um, you know, once you buy the dog from us, we'll just worry about you pur purchasing the dog, locking the dog in. And then once I sell out the rest of the pups, once I sell out the rest of the pups, I'll give everybody a call back and we'll start working on shipping. And I usually got a couple different ground shippers that we deal with. I try to get with the, you know, the one that's going to get here the fastest because a lot of people ain't too, um, they're not too patient when it comes to waiting on getting their dog, man. So we usually try to find the fastest one and, um, you know, then I'll get a price. You know, if I got a couple pups kind of going out to the same area, and stuff like that, we might get a little bit better deal. So I can't really give you an exact exact number, but on an average, depending on where you're at, you're gonna be looking somewhere between 300 and 600 on shipping. And 600 would be like, if you lived at the total, you know, down in Miami, Florida, or way up in Northern California, or Washington, Seattle, things like that, you know what I mean? Those are when it starts getting expensive. So er bullies mississippi watching that's what's up man big shout out to you in mississippi anthony jeffries i need to link up with you about them pups i want a micro bully and i've been watching your show for the last four lot four or five months so i'm trying to see what's what you got up there to holler at your boy yeah man you know we don't really carry you know we don't really have micros if you're looking for like an exotic dog we don't have exotics we have real true American bullies over here. You know, we have pockets, standards, you know, for the most part, pocket and standards. Usually our dogs are right there on the borderline of pocket and standard. That's what, you know, that's what we're shooting for over here at the Killinois camp, a nice medium sized dog, you know, with big dog features. Randy Betts, man, I hope to get one of them fire ass females are any of them spoken for from you guys? No, that's the thing, man. None of the pups that are off of our next litter are spoken for. And the reason why we're not, or they're not, is because we don't take deposits. 
every pup that's going to be for sale is still available. You know, I want everybody to understand that. And they're not available because we can't sell them. They're not available or they're still available or still available because, you know, we put up a video once the puppies are ready to go and they go on a first come first serve basis. And that's how we do it. You know, you just got to call in and purchase your dog on the phone once we drop that video on our YouTube channel of them for sale. What's up, OG? What's up, Kai Kennels? How you doing, man? Trill Fam Kennels. Will the price of the puppies be raising by 500 asking so I can be ready? <clears throat> um, I seen you had said something about wanting a female. We're going to have uh, two females available off of this next uh stuff coming up and both females are going to be four thousand what's up ryan campbell what's up dayton brian texas tuned in man that's what's up man big shout out to ryan campbell he's another heavy supporter of the channel and there's a lot of heavy supporters in the channel man i'm just trying to move through this and kind of get through these things a little bit faster for you guys that's all damn Um, my bad, my bad. D butt, not looking to breed or show, hoping to get a pup to train as a support dog. Do I stand a chance? Not looking anywhere but here. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, our dogs, dude, are not, you know what I mean? Like we it's not like we just kill people over the pricing of our dogs, man. Our dogs, any regular person can afford one of our dogs if they want one bad enough. You know what I mean? Because I'm a regular person. Every one of my partners are regular people and we've all purchased our own dogs. You know what I mean? So, you know, you it's definitely obtainable if you're willing to to you know push for it you know i saved up all the dogs that i got man i saved up for a really really long time to get the dogs that i got because they are amazing all right what's it said isaac hyatt says because they are amazing bro do you all know what you're doing are you okay it says, because they're all amazing, bro. You all know what you're doing. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate you noticing that. We appreciate everybody that really notices notices those type of things, man. Notices the hard work that we put in and, um, you know, notices the quality of dogs that we're putting out, man. We appreciate all you guys. Sorry about that. Let me pull that off there. Okay, it says, uh, Leanne Sharp. What's up? So how much are your puppies on sale? Yeah, the, like I said, man, the price is between twenty-five and thirty-five hundred usually. Sometimes they're a little bit more, sometimes they're a little bit less. The next two liters of pups that we got going on are gonna be priced in between three and forty-five hundred. Okay, so that's just a heads up for everybody. And everybody that's tuning in thinking that, that it's so good, you know, super hard to get a puppy. Sometimes it is. With this litter, it's going to be a little bit pricier, so I believe a lot more people are going to get a better shot. You know what I mean? These pups, like I said, are going to be between three and forty-five hundred. Eric Man Mandel, hi from Guam. Hey, big shout out to Guam in the house, man. Looks like we got a lot of people from Guam in here right now. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like mon like button. Big shout out to everybody that already has. We got 101 people in here right now. All right. So Randy Betts, love your videos. Your kennel should love your videos. Your kennel shot. Okay. Love your videos. Love your kennel. Shout out from Milwaukee. That's what's up, man. Big shout out to you for tuning in. Let me see if I can turn this up a little bit real quick here. I guess you can. All right. Randy, okay, where are we at? Beamer, the Mercedes, Vanilla Gorilla, White Widow Pups, birthday tomorrow. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I seen you had said that. Big shout out to all y'all that picked up a pup out of that litter, man. And those pups are looking amazing. MC Lily, 
27. Much love, bro. I appreciate it. Much love to you, man. Dirty Max 70. Best looking dogs and pups by far. We'll have one one day. That's what's up, man. Get with us whenever you're ready, man. And we'll most definitely take care of you. Smash that like button. I know that's right. I know that's right. Christopher Martinez says smash that like button. I know that's right. Go ahead and drop. What's it say? Cool East Side watching from the boot. Okay, that's what's up, man. Josh P. Josh P's in the house, man. Yo, what's up? What's it say? Yo, what's good, my boy and everyone? Big shout out to Josh P, man. He's one of, you know, he's like a day one supporter over here, man. She's been showing a lot of love on our channel for a really long time. Big shout out to Josh P. Little Ricky official. How much y'all, how much you're letting the females go for? Off this next litter, we got two females that are going to be available, and they're both going to be 4K. How is Tank doing? Stax his brother. He's doing good. He's doing good. He's with uh he's with my brother's ex-girlfriend. And uh he's doing good, man. I gotta try to make it over there to uh get some video of him here soon, man. I just haven't had a chance to get over there, and the boy's a little wild, man. He's really protective of my uh brother's ex-girlfriend <laughs> and their family. So I, I'm going to get over there and try to get some video of them here soon, though, man. I know I've, I've been saying that forever, but we just got a lot of stuff going on, man. But I'm going to get over there for sure. Mario Medina, ain't nobody producing bullies like Killinois Kennels. Man, we appreciate that, man. We appreciate that. We appreciate people recognizing that. Heather Smith, hey, all happy Easter to all you at Killinois Kennels and Killinois fans. Much love to you from Kansas City, Missouri. That's what's up. Much love to you. Big shout out to Kansas City, Missouri. How tall are y'all studs? Um, Grizzly says, how tall are our studs? It really just depends on the stud, man. You know, like I said, majority of our dogs are all on the borderline of pocket and standard. And, um, you know, that's going to be you know, usually our dogs are right between 15 and 18 inches. You know what I mean? Depending on the dog. Empire Bullies. Yo, fam, you got, what's your Instagram? Yeah, our Instagram's Killinois underscore kennels, just like on YouTube. Instead of, uh, you know, the space in between it, we just got an underscore because you... You can't have spaces on Instagram. So it's Killinois underscore kennels. Grizzly, out of all your studs, what studs had the biggest head? You know, out of the studs, you guys know. Out of the studs, you guys, I mean, man, it's really hard to say, man. A lot of our dogs are really close on the head size, you know, and... We got a lot of dogs with big heads, you know what I mean? But, you know, we ain't we, we don't really get into internet stats and stuff like that. I mean, I understand we wouldn't be given internet stats, but a lot of the stats you see on these dogs are bullshit lies, man. And I'm not going to put cuz I'm a real dude, man. I'm going to I'm going to really measure my dog's head and I'm going to make it tight and I'm going to get it to exactly what his head is. And, um, you know, not everybody else keeps it real like that. So I'm not going to compete with fake stats. You know what I mean? I'm just not going to do that. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why we really don't put the stats out on our dogs. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, you can kind of see what's up with our dogs and our videos, man. That's why we show you videos. We ain't got nothing to hide. Nothing like that. You see them dogs, you see that they got monster heads for sure. Can you ship to the UK? You know, usually we could, you know, with all the craziness that's going on in the world right now, I don't know how hard or easy that is, you know, for anybody that's interested in purchasing a dog overseas. I know for the most part that you can make it happen, but there is restrictions in certain parts of the world, you know what I mean? So... It really just depends, man. That's something that you would have to call and look into. You know, I mean, um, I'm pretty sure you you can get dogs to the UK, you know, right now, though. Excuse me. 
Randy Bess, I love how you break down the pedigree on each of the bulls you have. Top-notch kennel with the best bulls around. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Randy Bess. Alan H., what's up, my boy? Killinois South in the building. I know that's right. We got Killinois, Tennessee in the building. Big shout-out to the homie Alan, man. And congratulations to Alan. You know, I want to, you know, that's one thing I want to talk about in here. You know, Alan, I, I did that. The last video I did, I congratulated Alan from, you know, his boys, almost a BRC global champion. And I had stated that do Alan's dog was the last pick off of that litter because we only ended up with three dogs off of that litter. Right. And we kept two males and Alan bought the only male that was available. And, um, you know, and the reason why I stated that he was a last pick is because this is somebody that bought a dog from us and he was the only male that was available. Okay. And, and technically he was a last pick dog. Well, guess what? That dog is badass right now. Alan just sent me a new picture of him and uh, I'll be sharing it in a video or something here soon. But the reason why I'm stating this is because Alan got the last pick dog that nobody ever wants, you know, whatever. I mean, we don't usually have a problem selling our last picks, but, you know, a lot of people think, man, I don't want the last pick. Well, Alan's got the last pick dog and his dog's one major away from being a BRC global champion. And he's bad as hell. And he is right on the same level as the same male or the two males that we kept. And Alan will verify that in the comments of this right here. He he looks identical to the two boys that we kept, you know. Jason Hammond, one hundred. What's up, Jason? What's up, Turtle? Christopher Martinez, can I purchase a Killinois collar now? <laughs> yeah, man, you can, bro. But you'll want to wait until <clears throat> you can't purchase one right now because we don't have them right now. But we will be working on those here really soon. But, you know, I wouldn't want to buy one of those for a dog until it's fully mature anyways. That way you know what type of neck size to make it. You know, because all those things have to be custom made. Karan McCain, you know the UK breeder. No Tyree Licking. I want a bully, man. You throw me UK breeder. No tire Licking. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't I don't I specifically don't know of any any UK breeders. I know they're out there, but I don't know a whole lot of them. Henry Jordan Henry Jordan, all the way from Vegas, Big D. What's the best deal, bro? When will you be se seeing another litter from Precious? And what are you breeding with her? <clears throat> we had bred Precious on her last heat and she just didn't take you know, we will be breeding her again, and we got something major, major going down with this girl. And uh, as far as pricing, I don't know what's going to happen with the pricing on those pups until they're born and we know what's going on. You know what I mean? S. Bradford, if you can only pay in cash, could you hold that pup until I come pick it up that day? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what I mean? That's how we handle it. Once we put the puppies up for sale, you just got to call and pay for the dog. Once you pay for the dog, it's not like you got to be here that day to pick it up. We'll work it out with you, and you can pick it up whenever you get a chance. You know what I mean? Not whenever you get a chance. We got to, you know, you know, because some people take that to a whole nother level. But we will hold on to the dog for you to come get it. Bruce Collins, do you have to, to do a contract for the deposit and I get a chance to purchase a pup? Will you be able to pick it? Will you be able to pick up the pup? Yeah, I mean, we don't do deposits, man. That's what I've been explaining on here. We don't take deposits. Once the puppies are ready to go, they just go for sale and they're go for on a first come, first serve basis. And the reason why we do that is because, you know, we don't, want you know we don't want people that are actually tuned into our channel waiting for our pups and waiting for our breedings to just be waiting for nothing for somebody that dropped a deposit with me two years ago and doesn't even rock out with us 
So that's why we do it, man. We're not doing this to make things hard for you guys, but we don't take deposits. And if you're interested in getting one of our dogs, I highly recommend you go check out our channel because we explain that thoroughly on there. Micro Mini Exotic Bullies, my guy. What's up, Micro Mini? What's going on? Clayton Morris, keep throwing out that good blood, bro. Appreciate that, Clayton Morris, and you already know we will. We will. What the hell was that? <laughs> that shit looks... Hey, am I losing quality in here to you guys? Does this look fuzzy in it? fuzzy to y'all? Looks like it's kind of look, getting a little fuzzy in here. Need, need you an Ireland breeder, man. Yeah, man, I mean, you know, I'm Irish as hell. I would love to have some of our blood over there in Ireland, man. What's it say? McCain. Okay, UK. How many how many females you got this litter? In this litter, in these two litters that we got right now, there's actually four females, but only two of them are going to be for sale. Only two of them are going to be for sale. And that's two different litters. Out of two different litters, we had um four females. Out of two litters, we had four females and we're going to be keeping one pup from each litter, one female from each litter. And so that means there'll be two pups available off of this next drop. So for sure, real nice females though. Super, super nice females. And if I like, like I always state, if I had it my way, we'd be keeping all these females, but it is what it is. You know, Luis in the next litter after this one, when is it coming up? It's going to be real, real, you know, it's going to be shortly after this, maybe a week or two after this litter, because the pups are right behind these pups. So it's going to be, you know, as of right now, off this next litter that we're going to be dropping this next video, we got two litters and there's only going to be um, five pups for sale. There'll be three males and three males for sale and two females for sale out of this video that's going to drop next. But we do have a another whole litter that's going to be available, like I said, within a week or two after these ones you guys are going to be looking at coming up next. Big time trucking. What's, a, what's your opinion about putting weights on your dogs to muscle them up? I mean, you know, you, you, I don't, you know, like, I don't, I don't, uh, disagree with that. You know, I mean, I don't know about putting weights on them, like a, maybe a weighted vest or something like that, but you know, I wouldn't like put actual weights on them. You know what I mean? But I mean, and maybe if you're putting a harness on it and going to let it pull weights or something like that, you know, there's, um, I'm not against exercising a dog. I'm sorry, I can't. Jeremy, are you friends with other judges like Ron Ramos? Yeah, I know Ron Ramos. I, yeah, I know all the judges of the bully world for the most part. You know, maybe not some of these newer guys, but I know definitely all the old, old school guys that have been around for a long time, for sure. Shout out to Ron Ramos. Can you send ship to the UK? Yeah, man, like I've already said, man, I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm not, you know, I can't make that 100% because everybody knows how the world is right now, but I'm pretty sure you can. Big D, I just jumped on the live. I'm wondering when you got some dropping. Alan Riley, man, big shout out to you for tuning in, man. And like I said, we got, man, we got four different litters on the ground right now, okay? So unfortunately, off the next litter, we're only going to, you know, the next drop, we're only going to have five pups for sale. But don't worry, if you guys try to get in off of this litter and you miss out, don't worry. The next, you know, we do have other stuff coming up right behind this. All right. Hey, if you guys are in here and you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. We really appreciate it. Marshall Dion, Marshall Dion, what dog food do you feed? Spell it out because I don't know how to spell. <laughs> I dig it. <laughs> yeah, Wholesome's dog food, man. 
wholesome w h o l e there you go big john bully house what's going on bro what's going on with you alan riley big boy extreme pocket that's what we like over here man we like extreme extreme dogs with heavy bone big heads big dog features we don't like them too short we don't like them too small you know too short we don't like them too tall neither vincent mason sorry if you're already answered this but how much do you get for female pups you know all of our pups are always priced different we don't have like one set price we look at the pups that we have and we base them off of quality and uh you know that's how we price them but um you know just you know like i said on our average prices 25 to 3500 sometimes a little bit more sometimes a little bit less depending on the quality of the dog what is the difference between pocket and standard the difference between a pocket and standard is just a little centimeter you know what i mean i mean pockets <laughs> you know pockets are pocket males or anything under 17 inches pocket uh standard males are between 17 and 20 inches what's up Dayton I want a male bro Jonathan Soto hey man you already know Jonathan Soto is another person that's a part of the Killinois family he picked up one of the best females that we had available out of the Odysseus and Sativa litter big shout out to them man Nicholas says what's up bro love from Compton Om Omar double s kennels hey that's what's up man shout out to the double s kennels Double S Kennels is like family, man. Big shout out to you for tuning in, bro. I can't wait to come up, you know, come back out there in LA and, you know, hang out with y'all, man. Much, much, much love to Double S Kennels, man. Those are those guys are like family. Jay Hen, thumbs up. Randy Betts. I mean, do you guys keep any for yourself? Did you guys keep any for yourself? But just to answer my question, because you have four females, but only two are available. Yeah, we are, you know, <clears throat> nine times out of 10, we always keep something, you know what I mean? I mean, we can't keep everything all the time, but for the most part, we're going to be keeping something, you know? Sometimes I might have a partner that has a litter and maybe he doesn't have a whole lot of room. He might go ahead and sell out the whole litter. But for the most part, guys, you know, got us guys over here, we're going to keep a pup or two, you know? But that doesn't mean anything, you know what I mean? The pups that are going to be available are going to be dope, dope pups. Rudy Cruz, I have a question, but I just bought a puppy and the guy who sold it to me said the papers say USBR. Is that bad or can I change to UKC? I mean, I would, you know, I don't know, man. I mean, I really don't know, like, what registries take usbr papers i don't think a lot of them do but i don't know you know what i mean um i don't want you know i don't have a real good answer for that so i'm not 100 percent sure but you know um it's dependent on what kind of dog you got and stuff as well you know what i mean with exotics and stuff those things really you know doesn't matter as much and stuff but with american bullies it's a little bit different so it just it really I'm not a hundred thousand percent sure, man. What you need to do is, is you need to contact the registries and ask them about that. You know, look into the BRC Global, look into the IBKC, look into the ABKC, things like that. Milwaukee watching. Let's go. What's up? What's up, Ked? Ked Low. Calvin McDougal. McDougie, Calvin McDougie, didn't you breed with a dog with a try? Um, not the litter that we, not the litters that we got right now. There wasn't no tries, but we do have some try stuff coming, so for sure. Dick Hurts, my last dog was a twenty dollar mutt. His last day, his last day at the shelter. Man, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. You know, for anybody. You know, the, you know, and that's what we recommend for all the people that kind of complain about our pricings and stuff like that, man. Go to the shelter and do what he did. 
you know that that that'd be you know that's that's what you should do big shout out to belfast iron love the video from belfast man big shout out to iron ireland man i would love to come over there man if uh you know i don't know how big the bully community is over there man but i would love to come over there and judge a dog show if you guys ever get a you know get a show cracking out there let me know man I, like i said i'm irish you know i would love to come over there you know i'm not as irish as you are but i'm i got some irish you know Belfast, I would love to come there for real. That'd be dope. Well, hello, happy Easter. Happy Easter to everybody else. Ken, is that two pups from Napoleon Mills that's available? No, nah, we don't have any Napoleon pups that's available right now, man. We don't have any Napoleon pups that's available right now. But, you know, make sure you stay tuned. We'll have some Napoleon stuff coming. Eight, nine bullies. Male pup with high... Rear your expert opinion from your experience, male matched with correct quality females. How mainly breedings to breed that high rear out of your program? I mean, it really, you know, there's, <laughs> there's no, you know, if you, so what he's saying is, is if a male has a high rear and the female doesn't and he breeds them together, how many breedings before you get out the high rear? And I don't think there's an answer for that, bud. I really don't think that there's an answer for that. You know, there's no amount of high, uh, you know, you might fix it off of that litter. You know what I mean? And we've done that a million times. So you might fix it off of that litter. You might not. It's just, you know, like I've always stated before, man, a lot of this stuff is more in God's hands than it is ours or in, in any textbook or anything. You know what I mean? But, um, but yeah. Sending love from Jersey. Learn a lot from y'all. That's what's up, T. Brad. T. Brad, appreciate that. Appreciate that. What's this, kid? You still got Apollo? Yes, sir. We still got Apollo. He's with one of my homies, Country, man. If Country's tuning in, see what I'm saying, Country? See what I'm saying? They're asking about your boy. You better hit me up, man. We got to get some video of this dog, man. I've been trying to tell, see my homie country. He's just a good friend of mine. That's just, just a good buddy of mine, man. He's not like in deep with the dogs, but he's got a couple badass dogs. And I'm trying to tell him, hey, man, you got to start promoting these dogs, man. You got people asking about them right here, country. Bernie G. Bernie G, y'all have any dog dog collars available and hats not yet man not yet but we're working on all that stuff make sure you stay tuned hey if i'm saying anything wrong or i'm misreading your name man i'm really sorry i can't really see the text messages that good in here man but i'm doing my best so if i say your name wrong or i mispronounce what you said wrong i'm really sorry about that h-town iron cast beans kennels What's good, bro? Been watching. You got a minute? I got to say, bro, awesome dogs. Watching you guys a minute. I got to say, bro, awesome dogs. Appreciate that, man. Big shout out to you, bro. Appreciate that. I want a pup from Stax. Stay tuned. We'll have some things going down with Stax. Make sure you stay tuned. Fully understand. I will keep in touch. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Again, big shout out to Ireland, man. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in from Ireland. Armando Diaz says, love you guys' dogs, man. Love you guys' dogs, my boy. You know what time it is. I'm Memo's homie. I'll be getting at you from South LA. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Shout out to the Double S, man. Major, major love to Double S, man. I miss y'all, man. It's been a while since I've been out there kicking it with all you guys, man. I want to come out there and deal with you guys here real soon, man. You know, for, uh, you know... For any of you guys watching, you might have seen us uh the South Africa show vlog. If you've seen that South Africa Africa show vlog, the guy he's talking about is Memo Loke. That's the guy that I was with in that video. Damn, it looked like I was getting pulled over for a second. <laughs> What's this say? Dick hurts. 
<laughs> Hell no. Nah. Is this a comedy skit? Yeah, this is a comedy skit, Dick Hurts. Just like your name, buddy. Kai Kennels. OG, oh, if you had a litter around September, I'm going to cop a female off of you. All right, that's what's up, man. We should have some things going on by then, man. Like I've mentioned before in all of our videos and everything, man, we got a really big team over here. And, uh, you know, usually we do have some things going down or coming up, you know. Sorry for the spelling. No, no, you're good. You're good. Alan H. Facts. All the males look the same. Other than color, straight fire. The whole litter. See, that's Alan, man. I mean, of course, he's part of our team now. So he's going to, you know, you would think, okay, yeah, he's just saying that. But I'm telling you, man, <clears throat> just wait till we post the video of all the dogs off that Raider and Cardi Bean litter. You guys are going to be like, damn. Like, I'm telling you, prove time and time again that it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. You know, it really doesn't matter. Just, just you know, it doesn't matter exactly what pick you get. You're going to walk away with a nice dog, you know? What's it say? Josh says, keep up the good work. Appreciate that, bro. Appreciate that. Mario Medini, I've been watching and following a lot of breeders, and I always got... I always end up coming back to Killinoy Kennels, ready for a mail, just waiting for the right one. That's what's up, bro. We appreciate that, man. And we and a lot of people do say that. And we appreciate all the, you know, we appreciate the love and support, man. And anytime we got what you're looking for, just hit us up and we'll definitely take care of you. You deal with many breeders or clients in Canada? Yeah, we have sold a lot of dogs in Canada. I don't really, you know, um, no, man, I, what was crazy is right before all this crazy stuff happened in the world, I was booked to judge a show in Canada and it was going to be my first time coming out there judging and stuff. And, you know, unfortunately all this craziness kind of made that, you know, kind of, you know, detoured that. So hopefully I'll be getting booked to go out there again soon, man. I had a lot of stuff coming before, um, uh, before all this craziness in the world happened i can't say the word because youtube will take down my video or something crazy man but with all the craziness going on in the world before that man i was in talk with people i was going to be judging at a show in italy man all types of stuff man man it sucked man this this all this stuff going on really messed up some things for me for real i was going to be seeing even more parts of the world Wayne Roberts, damn, I thought you had a litter dropping. Did I miss it? Nah, you didn't. You didn't miss it, man. Uh, you know, I dropped the video today letting everybody know that, um, you know, we wasn't. <clears throat> Last week, I did not realize that this Sunday was Easter. So I told everybody we was going to drop the video on this Sunday. But, you know, this Sunday's Easter, man. And, you know. We have things going on, and I'm sure a lot of people that were going to buy puppies off of that litter have things going on as well. So we, you know, and not only that, I didn't get a chance to get the video done all the way. So, you know, it will be dropping here really soon, man. Make, excuse me. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to try to drop that video on like probably Monday or Tuesday. As soon as I can get it done and, um, We'll, we'll get it up for you guys. And that's going to be the video where everybody get a good, gets a good look at the puppies. And, um, you know, then they'll become for sale shortly after that. You know, just sometimes, man, with, you know, dealing with these programs and all these things, man, you get a little, you know, you get some holdups and stuff, man. You get some holdups. If you guys are in here and you haven't already, make sure you please hit that like button. We we'll really appreciate it, for real. We got 85 people in the house right now. All right, Chief North up. As soon as the video goes up, you have to be the first to call. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, pretty much. But, I mean, not necessarily, man. You know, like off our last litter, man, we was selling those puppies for like four or five hours. You understand what I'm saying? They didn't just sell out at the drop of the hat. We were selling puppies for five hours. You know, you get some people that call and they really ain't serious. And then you got to move on to the next one. And... Just things like that, man. Not everybody really understands how it's going, man. But, uh, you know, it, it's not if you're, 
you just don't get the first five callers. The first five callers don't ever end up with those puppies. It's usually the first caller, the 50th caller, the 100th caller. You know what I mean? Like, because there's people calling in. The whole time people are calling in while I'm on a phone with the person I answered with, there's people calling my phone the whole time. By the time I hang up with that customer, boom, there's another call ringing in. And I just answer it, and that's how we do it. The boys Frenchies, I just subscribed. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. For anybody that is watching and isn't subscribed, man, I highly recommend you go check out our channel. We got over 300 videos on the channel, man. Some real good American bully content. And, um, yeah, some real good American bully content. If you're in this live, please don't call my phone. Please, like, I'm going to get to your questions. Just leave them in there. I get, you can ask everybody in here. I always get to everybody's questions. Nope, looks good. I'm looking, I'm holding my phone close to me because I've been waiting on the pups since the channel started. <laughs> nah, man. You know, you haven't been tuned in all the way, man. If you've been waiting to get a pup since the channel started, man, you ain't been tuned in all the way like that, but it isn't that hard. It isn't that hard, man. You just can't give up. You can't just call and uh, call, you know, as soon as I drop the video and then I don't, you don't get an answer for five minutes and hang up and say, you know what, man, screw this. I'm not, you know what I mean? Those are the people that miss out for those people, you know, you can go check out the last customer update video that we dropped. That one guy showed on there that he called 120 times. You understand what I'm saying? So I ain't saying you got to call 120 times, but you know, it for, you know, if I was you guys and I was trying to get in the way I would do it is I would call, give it about five minutes, try to call back, give it about five minutes, try to call back. And then, um, you know, as the night goes on, give yourself a little bit more time and just try calling back. Eventually, I'm going to answer the phone. And like I said, you know, we got 40 some thousand subscribers. We're only going to have five puppies for sale. We're not going to make everybody happy. There's going to be a lot of you guys that are going to be pissed off about this, but it is what it is. And like I said, we got two other litters that's going to be available shortly after this of some real nice puppies, uh, real nice pups as well. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. I'm starting to lose my voice. How many puppies we got left? Camera quality is good. Okay. How many puppies you all got left? Man, that's the thing is the whole litter still left. But they're not left because we can't sell them. They're left because we don't take deposits and they're not for sale yet. Once we put the video up for sale, those puppies will sell out. Okay? And... We, we just do things different over here, man. We don't take in deposits. We don't lock in people for pups. None of that stuff. Once the puppies are ready to go, we drop a video on our channel of them for sale, and they go on a first-come, first-served basis. You just got to call my phone and purchase your dog. What's up with the dine? I don't use Dine, man. You know, some people do, man. You know what I mean? Some people do. But I, myself, I don't use Dine. I, I never have. I'm not saying I never would. I just don't have a problem with my dogs wanting to eat their dog food. You know what I mean? You know, we, we run a kennel. We have a couple dogs. You know, we have a few dogs. You know what I mean? Once one of my dogs starts eating, the other one hears it and says, you know what? I better eat my food before this guy comes and eat my food. You know, those things don't happen, but those are just in the dogs' minds, you know? So I usually don't have a hard time getting my dogs to eat. Most people that use Dine are trying to make their dogs eat more than they would normally eat. My dogs eat pretty good on their own. The Blocker says, love the channel, bro. Keep up the good work, fam. Appreciate that, The Blocker. Raymond Dawson, what's up, brother, from Delaware? Shout out to you in Delaware, man. Alan Watt, yo, bro, how much is your puppies? <clears throat> On an average, you're going to be looking be between 25 to 3,500. Sometimes they're a little bit more, sometimes they're a little bit less. The next litter that we're going to be having available, the pups are going to be ranging from 3,000 to 4,500. That's going to be two litters of the prices of those pups. 
Kemp Lozano. Kemp Lozano. I hope that's right, man. What's up? Watching from Southern Cali. If I buy a puppy from you, do you have to sign contracts? Nah, man. We don't really get down. I mean, we're going to probably start. You know, we used to do the contracts and stuff like that, man. But, um, you know, most of that stuff, you know, usually that type of stuff is for people that are just getting started, man. And things like that. We've been doing this so long, man. Them contracts really don't mean anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, like to be honest with you, but I feel like we are going to start doing it again. And really it, the contract is just going to state, you know, we're not one of those kennels that's going to sell you a dog and tell you, you can't breed your dog. We're not going to do that. You do what you want with it. It's your dog. You do whatever you want with it. We hope you would do the right things with it you know what i mean but there's no way to prevent that so um you know we will do we are going to start doing some contracts again and um you know just saying like hey if you sell this dog before you sell it if you end up getting rid of this dog before you get rid of it you got to contact us before you get rid of it to give us the opportunity to get it back that's about the only thing i really care about you know what i mean we handle good business if uh you know it you know we're gonna we're gonna start doing our contracts again man but you know our contracts ain't gonna be crazy like other people saying hey you can't do this you can't do this you can't do this it ain't gonna be one of those type of things how much do your pu puppies usually go for i've stated that you've had hopefully you've seen that jason franks do you ever do you ever barter for your pups? I got a beautiful Harley Davidson Road King Classic that I can't ride anymore due to neck surgery. Just curious. You look like you would like to ride a hog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, Hey, we're, we're not, you know, you send me a text message. Send me a text message of your Harley. One of my partners might want a Harley. Yeah, it's never, you know, it doesn't ever hurt, hurt to ask anything, man. You know, like I've stated before, you know, none of our dogs for sale, but none of our adults are for sale, but, you know, money does talk. Money will make people do things that they don't normally do, you know what I mean? So, but I mean, you know, we really usually, you know, we're not pushing for stuff like that, man. We sell our puppies and stuff like that, but hey, if you got a real nice Harley, one of my partners might definitely take that for a pup. Good looking for answering my question. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. Chief North up. I'm going I'm going to be ready for this litter to be available. I talked to you the last time Prada was having pups and didn't get one. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, man. There was only a couple pups available off of that litter. Sorry about that. As well as this litter right here. Randy Betts, I know some pups are big from, I know some pups from, I know some pups are big from the get up and don't hit the lanky stage, but what's the oldest they will bulk up? Yeah, I mean, you know, all dogs for the most part hit a little bit of linky stage in their life, you know what I mean? Especially the bigger the dog is, the more of a linky stage it'll go into. You know, more like the standard American bullies and things like that. Those those dogs do all go through a linky stage. Man, when white folks was a year old, I was contemplating on selling white folks. I said, if this boy don't get no better, man, he, you can buy him. One of my partners had tried to buy white folks his whole life. <laughs> One of my partners had tried to buy white folks his whole life, man. And when he was a year old, I was like, man, this boy's kind of looking crazy. You know, I was like, if he don't get much better than this, you can buy this boy. You know what I mean? But, you know, I always give my dogs time because I know that, you know, a standard size American bully, even a taller pocket, it, it's they go through growing stages man they all do they all do you know you know some dogs don't like when you're dealing with exotics and things like that but for the most parts american bullies do go through linky stages unless it's just like a straight you know dwarf 
what's that say? Wallet White. What? Oh. Walter White, okay, love your work, praying for one of your pups one day, that's what's up, appreciate that, man, Renee, Renee says, yo, yo, what's up, Renee, Alan says, I'm definitely going to purchase a puppy, I'm loving the red nose pit that originally definitely, I, I hold up, <laughs> I just messed that all the way up, my bad, my bad, I'm definitely going to purchase a puppy, I'm buying... I'm buying them red nose pit that originally definitely subscribed. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, bro. Sh what's this? Shitty gang kennels. You have some beautiful dogs. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Shit. Shitty gang kennels. Okay. <laughs> Hell no. That's a crazy name, bro. Alan Ryan Riley. I need a big boy, D. That's what's up, man. I'll tell you what, you know, we got some we got some big boys that are going to be available, man. Make sure you stay tuned for real. Shitty Gang Kennel says, what do you think about Carolina Kennel's dogs? <laughs> man, bro, I don't get on here and, you know, I don't really get on here and, you know, speak about other kennels, man. We don't really care what those guys are up to, any of these guys, not specifically them. We don't care what anybody else is on, man. We do our own thing over here, and we don't pay attention to other people's yards, man. If I got enough time to be out here watching other kennels' YouTube videos, then I need to be doing videos for us. You know what I mean? And that's basically what it is, man. So, you know, if I got enough time to go watch other people be dog breeders, then I need that means I need to get up off my ass and go do something. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, definitely keep in touch. That's what's up, man. Big shout out to Ireland. Extreme Pocket. I know that's right, Alan. I need a dog from you, man. That's what's up. Get with us, man. Get with us. Princess Princess says, I need a stud for my girl. Do you, do you mate with other dogs? <laughs> yeah, you, you know, yeah, we do. If you guys are interested in a stud, most of our dogs are up for studs. Some of them ain't, but most of them are. If you got a dog that you specifically like, just hit me up and I'll let you know what's up. You know, you'll have to send us some pictures and some videos of your female and uh, let us see the pedigree. We got to make sure, you know, the pedigree lines up. And, you know, also we got to make sure that we're not breeding our dog to no exotic. You know, we like to keep it true American bullies over here. But I mean, you know, that's not a shot at the exotics or whatnot. You know, exotic breeders should feel the same exact way. If you got an exotic breeder and you're trying to bring them your American bully female to breed it to, then, you know, like they should say, you know, hey, no, I want to breed my dog to an exotic, you know, and that's the way I think. That's the way we think over here. And that's not a shout out at nobody. That's just how we do. You know, we love the American bully. You know, we love the American bully. And we don't want to, you know, ruin it by going outside of its breed. You know what I mean? And that's why we do the things we do. Jay finessed it. So this is the pot. Is this litter pocket or standards? See, that's the thing, man. None of our litters are going to be like, in nobody's litters it's not just us i'm just keep it 1000 man i don't care if you got two pocket dogs and you breed two pockets together there's a chance that you're going to throw a standard dog so we're not breeding pockets we're not breeding standards we're breeding right on the borderline of pocket and standard we're going to get some pockets we're going to get some standards and we just be real with ourselves about this type of things, man. We don't really care about the height of the dog. As long as it carries the mass and the bone and the head and just the, everything that we like in our dogs, that's what we look forward to. We don't really care. You know what I mean? The difference between a pocket and a standard is like this. And that's just a little bit of height. You know what I mean? Like it, like. And I'm talking about, like, it really ain't even that. It's, uh, it's like this is the difference. You can have a dog that's 16 and a half inches, and that's a pocket. And you can have a dog that's 17 and a half inches, and that's a standard. And that's the matter of an inch. You know what I mean? So we don't concentrate on a class. We concentrate on breeding some badass dogs. 
What do you think about people breeding exotics to real American bullies? I pretty much just said that, man. I don't agree with it. And, um, you know, we don't do it. So, but, you know, it is what it is, man. I mean, I, I'm nobody's daddy. I don't tell nobody what to do. But I have a lot of true love for the American bully. And I feel like people that are doing that are ruining it. Because I'm going to tell you right now, with the way things are going and the way we breed... With the way we breed, we might not be able to even go out and use another dog with the way things are going. You know what I mean? I can't, you know, stress that enough, especially for the exotic owners and them guys too. You know what I mean? They should just want to breed to exotics and we should just want to breed to American bullies. And I'm a firm believer in that. Firm, firm believer in that. And I'll tell you what, like I said, it's going to make it hard for a lot of people. There's a lot of breeders out here mixing them both and selling them to you guys and not telling you. And then the next thing you know, you hit me up with your half exotic trying to stud to one of my dogs. And I tell you, man, I can't do that. You know what I mean? And then you're going to be looking at me like I'm a dickhead because this guy sold you a dream. Trill fam kennels. Well, the next two litters after now will be regular priced. I mean, you know, these puppies are regular priced. You know what I mean? Like I stayed, like I've always stated, on an average, our pups are in 25 to 3500 And there's pups in these litters that are going to be around that price. But, um, you know, yeah, the next litters that we have will be a little bit more towards our average the next litter that's going to be up you know there is going to be some pups off that are going to be a little bit more but there will be some pups in the 2025 range stuff like that so it's not over with we're not just you know deciding we're going to just up all of our prices and things like that so you know but like i said these next two litters is going to be available those pups are going to be priced in between three and 4,500. Not everybody's going to want to spend that. So for those of you guys that are willing to spend that and are thinking, hey, man, it's just too hard. I'm not going to get one. This is going to be the litter that you're going to want to try to hop on because a lot of people, when I tell them these prices, they're going to hang up on me and cuss me out. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. Like I said, you can't make everybody happy, but um, the litter after this, there will be some pups more on our average price. H-Town King Beast says, your dogs are fire. Appreciate that, bro. Appreciate that. Randy Best, thank you for your time answering the questions and taking the time out of your night. How do you make payment exactly? Hold up. Let me, we got a train running by here. Man, I'm... I had a little time to kill, man. I figured I was going to be on live for a second, so I came out here and parked outside my girl's work. I got to pick her up, so I just came up here with a little bit of time. I knew I was going to be on live with you guys. I don't like doing lives. You know, I like to come do the lives in the cars and stuff because I don't want people talking to me, you know, kind of throwing me off the live. You know what I mean? I need to concentrate when I'm doing this thing, man. I can't have my kids yelling at me and the dogs barking at me and things like that man so i like to get in the car and do my lives that's why i do it you know my kids are in there joking around playing around you know things like that and that'll kind of throw me off so that's why i always get in the car when i do these lives i just you know i like to be able to concentrate on talking to you guys rather than everything else that's going around my crazy household you know what i mean so Um, ex okay. I'm sorry about that. Randy Betts, you said, thank you for your time answering the questions and taking time out of your night. How do you make payment? <clears throat> See, the thing is, is like when with us, we're a really big team over here and I cannot accept money for everybody. Okay. Because if it did, it would look like I had all everyone's money. And, but in reality, I don't have everyone's money and I, I'll be paying taxes on people's, you know, things like that, man. So, um, so basically it depends on who you're buying the puppy from. Please don't, please don't call my phone right now, everybody, please. But, um, 
it depends on who you're buying the puppy from you know what i mean we have a really big team so whenever you purchase the dog you're gonna have to purchase it from the guy that owns the litter and you know for the most part we're dealing with cash app and zale you know we used to do with paypal and stuff but we had somebody try to screw us over through paypal so none of us will use paypal again ever so it's usually cash app or zale or something along those lines we usually try to work with the customers and have you know for the most part everything but like i said we we do not do paypal no more we had a guy that ruined that for everybody and um you know he bought a puppy from us hurry up came picked it up that like basically that night and then well, on the way home was trying to refund his money got a little bit bit of his money back but we didn't give him the papers and um luckily i said hey man you know we're too old to be playing these games we don't play games like this man so either you hurry up and send that money back or i burn your paperwork on a live video you know what i mean so he hurry up and send it back and we just won't deal with paypal no more man it just is what it is alan davis just got familiar with your kennel nice dogs what do you bullies go for basically hopefully hopefully you're still in here i just broke that down jay hen i have seen all the dogs off that litter they are all fire appreciate that man appreciate that and that's what i'm saying like you know these puppies that we have right now they're a little bit more pricier than what we normally charge but they're also some really 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 nice pups you know what i mean real nice pups Okay, Victor says, what do you think about the Merle color? Yeah, man, we spoke on the Merles in the last live, man. I'm not a fan of them. I'm going to give you the short version. I'm not a fan of them. I don't like them. It just, but that's, I, you know, it's my own personal preference. You know, um, I feel like they're not going to do nothing but hurt our kennel for some color. I don't care about that color. Um I haven't seen a whole lot of impressive Merle dogs. You know, let me know in the comments. Have you seen a Merle dog that holds the holds the girth and the look of our dogs? Because I never have. And if I have, it was a more or less an exotic, not an American bully. I have not seen r any real impressive Merle American bullies. You know, there. You know, I'm sure there's some out there, but. The way they, you know, I, I, I'm not a fan of them and we don't deal with them and we won't be dealing with them over here. We don't care what type of money people think it thinks it brings. I don't even think it brings that money that all these guys are chasing the shit for. I don't, you know, I, I don't know, maybe, but you know, we got cool colored American bullies over here. We got tries, we got chocolate tries, black tries, blue tries, lilac tries. We got it all, man. We don't have to get the leopard dog thing going on in here, man. So that's that's our look on the Merle. I don't want to go too in too deep in that, man. I love your dogs from the Philippines. Big shout out to the Philippines, man. The next show vlog that I'm putting on the ch channel is going to be a video of a show I judged out in the Philippines, man. It's going to be a real good video. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Man, looks like we done, you know, acquired some more people in here, man. If you guys are in here and new in here, please leave that like button or hit that like button, man. We are really appreciate it. All right. Let them hate bullies. Killing our kennels. Must respect out of Dallas, Texas. 214, brother, since day one of subscribing nothing but some badass bullies y'all doing y'all thing appreciate that let them hate bullies man big shout out to let them hate bullies man that's a jr anything man and he's been a subscriber to our channel for a very long time always showed us nothing but love man big shout out to him alan's boy and other dogs off that litter are all fire i have seen them all that's right, Jay. Yeah, Jay Hen, man. That's what's up, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate you keeping that real. Apparently, you've been going out to some BRC Global shows, man. Just wait till you see some of the dogs. You know, you've seen majority of them. You haven't seen them all. And uh, man, that litter, 
was off the chain, boy. Off the chain. We got some amazing studs coming up off of that. Appreciate you letting them know, though, bro. For real. Randy Betts. What time do you, of the day do you usually drop the for sale video so I know if I need to take off work? <clears throat> Man, you just got to stay tuned to the videos. Like I said, you know, um, I'm going to let everybody know the next video we drop on the channel is going to be the video where everybody gets a real good look at the puppies, right? In that video, I'm going to tell you the exact day and a roundabout time of when we're going to drop it. So just make sure you stay tuned for that video. You got to say paired up or it. You got stacks paired up with anything. I'd I'd happily take a chocolate and white pup out of stacks. Yeah, man. I mean, we got some things lined up for them here in the future, man. I don't know what we're going to get color-wise because you never know what you're going to get color-wise. But make sure you stay tuned. And, I mean, we got some really nice chocolate pups right now, man. So, which goes back to similar blood. It's been hard for me to get a pup. Andre, yeah, man, it's it's really not that hard, man. Like I said, when we drop those videos of the puppies for sale, man, you just got to call and keep calling until you get an answer, man. I'm not saying just waste your time and call a thousand times, but try more than just a couple calls and say, man, screw this. Because like I said, we're usually on there for at least four or five hours selling those puppies, depending on how many we got for sale, you know? Man, who was that? Damn, are y'all on here? Damn. Oh, man, that... Somebody's messing with text messaging me, messing me up here, man. Now I got to try to find where we was at here. Hold on, I'm trying for me to get a puppy. Okay. Andre said, I'm going to have to move to Springfield to get a puppy. Nah, man, it ain't that hard, man. It ain't that hard. I mean, I understand, you know, as long as you're subscribed to the channel and you make sure you hit that bell, you shouldn't have a problem getting a puppy especially at this time right now you know we only got five pups that's going to be for sale off of these two litters but we got two other litters coming up behind this with a bunch of puppies one litter we had eight pups and another litter we had 10 pups you know what i mean so you know there's going to be plenty of chances for everybody to get some pups right now and those you know like I said, we do have four litters on the ground right now, but that's not four litters at one house and we're puppy milling it out. We got one puppy. We got one litter over here. We got one litter over here. We got another litter over here. We got another litter over here. You know, like I've always mentioned and stated, we're a real big team over here. And, um, you know, that's the reason why, you know, and, and a lot of the times all of our bitches come in the heat at the same time. And that's why, you know females will bring other females in and just stuff like that you know where where are you drinking cigarettes brent bro these lives chats be going long <laughs> bro i got a cigarette in my hand right, right right now that's funny as hell man but yeah i can't you know like i said i can't you know i don't drink and drive man so i'm not a. Uh, you know, I'm not out here going to be sipping and drinking like that, man. But I'm here to chill and, you know, kick it with y'all. For sure. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, man. What's your, what's your name on there? Bernie G, man. <laughs> Big shout out to you, Bernie G. Victor says, do you ever feed raw food? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, we do. You know, I got videos on the channel letting everybody know where we get our raw from. You know what I mean? Make sure you guys go check out that video. Make sure you guys go check out that video. If you're anywhere here in the Midwest, kind of in the Wisconsin, Iowa, Indiana, Illinois range, you can get raw from the same person we get it from. And um, <clears throat> some of my partners, they do a, you know, excuse me, they do a 100% raw diet, and but I myself don't. I feed my dogs dog food. 
I just now started kind of doing the raw thing. And, you know, I just use it as a little treat, a little extra here and there. I don't do like a real full-blown raw diet. You know, I still mainly feed kibble dog food. What with... Okay, what's it say? Rainy bits. What with Kevin with the raw? Tried hitting him on Messenger, never got back. Is there another way to get it? Get it from him? Yeah, man, you just got to, you know, try to hit him up a couple times, man. And um, I'll tell you what, you know... um. You can contact me and I can try to help you out with that. You know, please don't contact me right now. But if I'm not on a live video or something like that, give me a call and I'll see what I can do to try to make that happen for you. Kia Aura Kennels, Illinois Kennels and family. Nice to see the live again from, from you. Love what I've seen from all you guys and girls in your breeding program, et cetera, good stuff. Yours and the dogs. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Man, I'm sorry. My eyes is getting so bad, boy. I can't see nothing. So I'm not, I, it's not that I can't read. I just can't see what I'm reading. Like, I, I don't know how to turn the brightness on here, man. Take it. Man, I wish I, I'm, I'm kind of behind. So some of that stuff ain't making sense. Any breedings with Big John coming? Man, uh, you never know, man. You never know. We could, you know, you never know. Stay tuned. You know, Big John's my brother, and I'm sure we'll do a lot of stuff here in the future. Nothing lined up right at this exact moment, but, um, you know, we, me and John always rock out with each other. So, you know, we're going to try to, you know, here soon do, you know, some collab videos, man. Some type of hunting video or something. Maybe be, me and Big John will go down south and do some hog hunting or something, you know. Edwin says, let me, let me tell you, man, you got a good looking dogs with pups. I always wanted some pups from you, but unfortunately I can't have right now since I got a double lung transplant. Man. Man, I'm sorry to hear that, man, but congratulations. Hopefully everything's all right now, man. I'm sorry to hear that, man, but we ain't going nowhere, man. Whenever you're ready, we're here. John Braswell, what's up, boy? Oh, what's up, boy? Always doing it big out there. You already know, John. John Braswell is another person that's part of the Killinois family, man. He's got one of Stack's best sons, that boy pork chop out there looking real nice, man. Big shout out to the homie. John Braswell, Daniel Fritz, man, I got a five month old. I thought he was never growing. Then today he saw his brother and my boys bigger than him. I feel we live. I feel, I feel we live with them 24 seven. We don't notice. Okay, yeah, I get what you're saying, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, when you're looking at your dog all day, every day, you might not see the growth, you know what I mean? That's why, like, um, you know, people that got dogs around here where I'm at locally and shit that have got dogs from us, I usually let those dogs marinate, man. I will wait and wait and wait and wait and wait until I go see them because then I get to actually see a good you know, transformation, you know what I mean? I'm not all nosy, like, hey, man, send me a picture every week, you know? I'll, I'll, Man, there's been times I sold a buddy of mine a dog and didn't even get by to see it until it was a year old, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> but, you know, that I like to see the transformation, and that's why I do it like that, for sure. 92 people in the building, man. Big shout out to all you guys tuning in. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comment section. That's all I'm doing. I'm working my way down. And, uh, you know, as long as the questions are coming, I'll keep it rocking here. You know, I, like I told you, all I was, uh, damn, I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to have my car die over here, man. Damn it. Tripping. But, uh. Believe in, what's it, okay, where are we at? Believe in the people you do business work. Believe in the people you do business 
work, buddy. Can't wait to see you again. Hey, man, big shout out to you, John Browswell. I can't wait to see you again, bro. I can't wait to see that boy Pork Chop, man. We need a little update, man. Let him know, man. Pork Chop, he's got that boy Pork Chop, one of Stack's best sons, man. We need to see an update, John. I know that boy's looking good, man. What's that, Susie? Way to go, bro. That's how it should be. Okay. A month ago, next pup is up from you. A month ago, next pup to up is from you. I'm sorry, I don't understand. A month ago, next pup to up is from you. I don't understand what that means. Keep it real, bro. Always, always, man. This must be back to some older stuff, man. I'm trying to get to it. For some reason, I had somebody call my phone and it uh and it and it kind of messed up the comments. So I'm trying to get back to where we was at here. Any luck for your any of your dogs stay in the house with you? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I stated that in our last live. You know, yeah, yes, yes, we have a couple dogs in, inside of our house, for sure. Paris Martin, love, love your work, what you're doing. Would you say your line is the standard pocket or both? You know, like I said, you know, we're we're right there on the borderline of pocket and standard, man. So, uh, you know, that's that's where we feel our dogs are at, and uh. Love your work. Okay, what's this guy say? S ski mask. I'm trying to get a pup. Need a female. We're going to have a couple females available off of this next litter on this video that we dropped. Sorry about that, man. I had, I left my keys on and my car is acting like it's about to, it was acting like it wasn't going to start. So I'm trying to get this thing right here, man. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm trying to get a pup. Need a female. We'll, we'll have some females available here. Killing always throwing it down. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Here, here, bro. Stick to be here. Damn, man. Here, here, bro. Stick to the stick to the breed you choose, structure and temperament. That's right. That's right. Need a good female with bone and head. How do I contact? We leave our number at the end of every single video on our channel, man. For anybody that's watching and they want to try to get a hold of me, the best way to get a hold of me is to actually call my phone. If you call me and I don't answer, that just probably means that I was super busy. Go ahead and try to give me a call back and we'll um you know, we'll definitely take care of you. For sure, my pup is a male by two pocket made by two pockets and he is taller than all of the brothers and sisters believe 17 inches make them the standard and he is 16 and a half at five months old yeah that's what i'm trying to tell everybody man i'm not just making up bullshit that's another thing man for all you guys that are tuned in right now we got 95 people tuned in in, in here right now you know <clears throat> I know YouTube is like your go-to on how to and this and that, you know, how to change out your spark plug or how to do this. Man, don't use that for dogs, man. I mean, to a certain extent, some people might, might be right, but I'm going to tell you right now, 90% of these guys out here are putting false information out. And that's not me hating, man. That's me kind of seeing some of this stuff you know what i mean like man don't believe everything you hear on youtube because it's not 1000 you know what i mean and i'll tell you what you know i speak unless the only time i speak is if i know what i'm talking about you know what i mean or you know maybe i have my feeling of how things go but if i don't know what i'm talking about i'm not gonna speak on it and i'm gonna let you know i don't know man you might want to you know, do a little bit more research, you know, but, uh, where are we at here? Brittany says, Hey man, what's up, Brittany? What's up? Uh, Wally bullies. I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time seeing some of these names. That's even harder than seeing your guys's comments. So if I don't say your name, it isn't no disrespect. I just can't see it. Yes. You're right with the breeding side of things. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Isn't a micro and an X. Isn't a micro and an XL not noticed by the ABKC? 
the micro's not the xl is as far as i know but but uh yeah the xl should be you know any uk breeders and i already told you that man i don't really know i really don't know any like by name or anything like that man i'm sorry about that you know we've had a lot of people contact us we've even sold dogs out there before but i'm not familiar too familiar on big time breeders out there or anything you know i don't, I don't you know I, like i said man we concentrate heavy you know I, it might seem like bullshit and some people might think we're lying about that man but we concentrate heavy on our own program man if i got enough time to be tuning in to other kennels and things like that man i need to be working on youtube videos for you guys you know what i mean so bro what's good g i gotta get at least two more dogs from you much love and keep up the keep doing what you're doing bro and setting the standard for other breeder breeders appreciate that man i'm having a hard time seeing your name right now but um yeah i'm having a hard bro okay let me make sure here you said what he said there man. i'm sorry i cannot see anything bro what's good g i gotta get at least two more dogs at least two more dogs from you um much love and keep doing you bro appreciate that man appreciate that get with us bro and you already know if you've already got other dogs from us man you already know we'll take care of you you already know that jessica says yo tell me you're going to be in delaware no i'm sorry i mean i i don't know if that's maybe a delaware show or something um not that i know of unless things change you know what i mean i don't know what kind of show it is or what it is if it's a brc global show and it's in delaware i'm not booked to judge it as of right now but you never know i might be i respect killinoy kennels true to the breed keep up the good work appreciate that man appreciate that man i can't see the names i'm sorry y'all how do i contact you uh just we leave our number at the end of every single video on our channel man give us a call give us a call that's the best way how many dogs do you have currently um you know as a team you know we got a lot of dogs you know what i mean but like i've mentioned before we have a lot of we have a lot of partners you know what i mean um you know it's really hard to say and for me and myself you know what i mean i got about uh you know i, I think I, I man to be quite honest with you i don't even know i had to go count <laughs> you know what i mean um i'll try to have that information for you guys on the next live um I, it, it'd take me a little second here to count all the dogs so really nice dogs appreciate that appreciate that do you have any available now no man you know and then that and the reason why we don't have any available now be, is because they're just not for sale just yet but we will have some pups that'll be available within the next week here so we don't we don't usually have pups just sitting around waiting to be sold when we drop these videos of the puppies they usually you know for the past you know long time the puppy's been selling out the night we drop them you know what i mean so uh but yeah how difficult is it to price dogs when you've had such consistency across the board i don't mind the pet quality dog but how do you decide if it's pet quality um um you know just you know you basically you know on its on it you know what type of flaws and things like that you know what i mean like um you know that's basically how you determine off his pet quality you know what i mean like if the dog has a kink tail it's usually pet quality if it has um you know you know super high rear bowed out you know what i mean things like that man but um you know that's how we determine on what's pet quality or not you know Killing on the 
is killing all right what's to say killing like kennels is killing it fire dude learning a lot blessings appreciate that bro appreciate that that's sad man one person messing with you one person messing it up for everyone oh man that's must be going back to the paypal yeah that is sad man i can't believe you know it was just like you know i, I you know there wasn't nothing i could really do about it man the dude you know, we, we, we was doing PayPal for everybody, hooked the dude up. He was like, hey, can I come get the dog tonight? And I was just like, you know, that's kind of crazy. But, yeah, come on, come get it. You know, and um, like I said, you know, by the time he was on the way home, he was trying to get his money refunded back, apparently. You know, woke up the next day, found out that like 500 of his money got put back to him. And after that, we just said, you know what, we're not dealing with PayPal no more. You know, I called him up, told him, hey, if you don't send back the other 500, I'm going to burn your papers on live. He ended up sending it back and we'll never deal with that dude again. Thank you for helping a real, thank you for being a real breeder and not selling out and keeping the real true American bully alive. Keep up the great work. Appreciate that, Ryan. Appreciate that, big dog. Thanks for noticing. Let them hate bullies. Zell, damn good. It's People's Bank has it. Zell's damn good if People's Bank has it. It's always used. That's what's up, man. Yeah, Zell's been working out for us. Stop being cheap, people. You get what you pay for. That's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. Sometimes, sometimes you don't get what you paid for, depending on who you ask. You know what I mean? But, uh... How much is a stud to one of your dogs? Our studs usually start from fifteen hundred and go up from there, depending on the stud. On the Brazil video, wasn't those dogs exotic? <clears throat> um, you know, some of them, yeah, some some of them was exotics. I'm not sure what you're getting at there. Love the fact that you take the time to interact with the folks who follow the channel. Thanks for taking the time and answering questions. Yeah, no problem, man. I mean, that's how I always did in the lives. I, you know, I'm not one of these guys that's going to do a live video and just get on here and talk about just specifically everything that I want to talk about. You know, I'd rather get on here, conversate with you guys, get to learn and know some of you guys, you know, and, 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 and there might be a lot of you guys that are you know, that comment and rock out with our channel, you just might not have a name that sticks out to me. You know what I mean? If it's just, you know, Joe 213 or something, I might not remember that name, you know, but you know, for the guys that comment on every single video, for the most part, I know who those guys are and big shout out to all you guys that are tuning in or all those people. Can you give a hint on what the next four parents are? Man, the thing is, is I can't really, I can't do it for one. You don't even know three of them for one. You don't know three of them. The next three litter, the next two litters that we got after these pups, you don't even know three of the dogs, but I will tell you one of them. And one of them is premier. So the other two, the other, the other ones you don't know about to head out. Uh, that's what's up, Phil. I don't know if you're heading out here or if you're, uh, well, what you doing, man? Junior Harrison said he talking to me. <laughs> yeah, I have been I have been out to BRC shows and saw the litters. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Welcome to live chat. Okay. Junior heard you and said he talking to me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Phil. I probably was talking about Junior. <laughs> We here. What's up? Here, here, here. Okay, this is where somebody called in and it messed everything. Man, I am way behind, man. But I'm doing my best. I'm going to try to make it to all you guys for sure. We can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, where are you located? We're located in Springfield, Illinois. New to the live chat. Keep up the work. Killer work. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. I got work coming to Springfield, Illinois soon. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. You got to get a litter here in Ireland, bro. 
Yeah, man, we got to get some people from Ireland to pick up a couple pups, man. I can't wait to send some pups out there in Ireland. Like I said, I'm Irish, man. I'm not a... Uh... Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got Phil. Phil just rolled up on me. What up, fool? What up? What are you doing? You getting in here? Here, get in the back and tell everybody what's up. What's tell, up? Tell them what's up. Say what's up. What's up, Kill Tell him, say it's killer noise in the house, baby. It's killer noise in the house, baby. <laughs> That's little Phil right there. They just pulled up on me, man. They just pulled up on me. We got Phil. We got little Phil and Big Phil. <laughs> yeah, Phil and them just pulled up, man. This little Phil right here. This is the little shorty that be helping us, man. Get up here, man. Get up here a little closer so they can see you. Man, tell them some. Tell them how we do it here, man. Tell them, let them know what we do. Don't be shy, boy. Say it's killer noise over everything over here. Yep. What's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> we got the whole Simmons family in the house right now, man. Let me turn this around I'm a little bit for y'all. Say what's up. What's up, killer noise gang? Ah, there we go. See me, I probably got some kids. <laughs> that's the, that's right. That's right. Feel pulled up. We got little Phil Simmon. Oh, oh man. Baby, baby Drew, what's up, dude? Right <laughs> they pulled up on me as soon as I seen that bub. I said, oh, that must be Phil. Yeah, you see me swinging, too. <laughs> Here, let me try to make it so everybody can see everybody. Hey, shut that, though. Shut that. I had my, I had my shirt spotted, your ass. Say, <laughs> you over there. <laughs> Referring to, all right, it says, bro, I've been constantly referring to any, referring anyone to everyone to y'all's channel, letting everybody, letting whoever ask about my dog. Man, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Appreciate that, man. I think that's a guy that got a dog from us, man. Big shout out to him, man. Big shout out to him. Yo, yo, from the tropics is your boy Mickey like that live oh what's up mickey man big shout out to mickey hey say what's up to mickey what's Phil? Up, mickey? hey big shout out to mickey this is mickey from the caribbean that got some pups from us and stuff Daddy. we got a little kobe in the house Dad. what's up dude Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. i says me and dad sitting on the edge of the seats waiting for the Daddy. video call video Daddy. to call that's what's up man that's what's up make sure y'all stay tuned Stay tuned. Like I said, those pups will be available here really soon. It says me and okay, and it says I sell raw food. That's what's up, Victor. Where are you located at, man? Where are you located at? Let us know. Let us know. BP, what's up with baby James? Man, we're gonna be doing some videos with baby James here really soon, man. We've been working on that, you know. We've been working on that right now, man. Um, actually, we got a little bit video of uh, Baby James coming here real soon. And that boy is blowing up, man. Blowing up. Looking crazy. <laughs> yeah, he Baby is. Baby James looking crazy, for yeah. real. Hell yeah. I am subscribed. Bell notifications as they come a day or two late for me. Yeah, man. I don't know what you should do about that, man. Hey, Phil, go shut that off. But, um... But uh, yeah, man. If you're having if you're having problems getting for anybody that's having problems getting the notifications, um, I would highly recommend unsubscribing, resubscribing, and rehitting that bell, and that'll probably help that out a little bit. I know that you know I'm even having some partners that's having that problem, but one of my partners was having that problem, and he um. And he, he did that, and the next thing you know, he started getting them. So maybe that'll help. I take, what's it say? I take a chocolate girl, get a, get a team going across the pond. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Get with us, and we'll definitely take care of you. What kibble do you feed your dogs? We, feel, we feed wholesome dog food, man. Like I said, this is going to be the last time I'm really putting that out there because... Oh man, Kobe's going crazy out there right now. Kobe, come in the car. Hey, no, no. What do you? Get out the car. Let's go. Let's ride. What do you do? 
Y'all, y'all about to get up out of here? Yeah, we finna ride, man. All you right, man. Say what's... You know, we gonna stop back through and mess with y'all. Little Kobe out here yeah. trying to go crazy. What's up, boy? Yeah, what's up? They ain't gonna get you, <laughs> Say what's up. Get in the screen, Kobe. Come on, Kobe. Say what's up. up. Say what's up. No. Uh -uh. Nah, he said well, no. <laughs> you being funny. He gonna be in another dog video working. All right, y'all, man. All right, good bro, good looking on pulling out. Right, good pulling. All right, little Phil. Smack your line tomorrow. All right, sorry about that, y'all. That 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 might have got a little boring there for a second, man. It kind of threw me off for a second, man. My bad, my bad. You trying to ride out, Drew? <laughs> he said, "No, I ain't riding with that dude." All right, man. Sorry. Hey, to let them know, Phil. Let them know. That's right, that's right. There you go. <laughs> hey man, sorry about that, y'all. They just pulled up on me and kind of threw me off of what I was doing, but that's not a big deal. That's what we want. That's what we want. That's what we want. So they know I'm out here waiting for my girl, man, waiting for my girl to get off work and stuff. Alright, well, let's get back to these comments. I'm sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. That kind of threw me off for a second. <laughs> Alright, where we at here? Nestor says, "What do you, what do you, what do you of the offspring of the pocket female to an exotic male? I don't, you know what I mean. Like we does, we don't do that. Any, you know, it, it wouldn't matter what class it is or anything like that, man. We don't really, uh, we don't really, you know, get down with that. You know what I mean? We don't, we don't get down with the mixture of the two breeds. They are both considered a breed now." The exotics is considered its own breed. And that's something that they, they was pushing for for a long time. The real true exotic breeders, they don't want nothing to do with, uh, they don't want to, you know, breed American bullies to their exotic. That's not what they're doing. You see the big dogs in the exotic world, them guys ain't breeding to American bullies. They're breeding their exotics to other exotics. And that's what American bully breeders should be doing too. You know, a lot of American bully breeders, they throw in that exotic in their dogs because they have a hard time getting that head shape, things like that. You know, with American bully, if you put enough work, <clears throat> excuse me, with the American bully, if you put enough work in, you don't, you can get that look. You can get that look without having to put in the exotic in your dogs. Look at Napoleon, look at Prada. You know what I mean? Like those dogs have exotic faces. You know what I mean? For the most part, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, those dogs have exotic looks to them, you know? And that's why a lot of people are saying, Hey man, like, you know, let me know if you do a breeding with, uh, let me know if you do a breeding with, um, um, Napoleon and Prada and we would never do that breeding. That's just too much. You know, I wouldn't say that we would never do it, but you know, I wouldn't recommend it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't recommend it myself. You know, you know, the homie, you know, the homie that owns Prada, the homie Phil that was just here, he's the one that owns Prada. And, um, you know, he might say, Hey, let's go ahead and do it one day. But you know, I wouldn't recommend it. There's other dogs that we can breed Prada to and get real nice American bullies. You know, what we like to do is is you know like i said that was the reason why instead of breeding prada to white fo or to napoleon we bred her to white folks because you know and we got crazy head shapes off of that litter all the way around the board you know what i mean so you don't have to go too crazy on that once you start going too crazy on those things is is when you start to end up with dogs with real bad faults and things like that and that's the reason why we don't go crazy on certain stuff like that if we got a dog that's just crazy extreme bully you know we're not gonna try to find the most extreme dog to breed to it we're gonna try to find a dog to clean it up because extreme bullies they're not perfect confirmation you know understand what i'm saying so you do need some things to clean it up but you know um but i wouldn't recommend breeding an american bully to an exotic to nobody i would never do that i would i wouldn't do it and i wouldn't recommend it you know what i mean and be careful and know what you're buying 
You know what I mean? Know what you're buying. What's this say? He says, I paid 3K, 200 for a pup from a famous litter. Only flaw was a small underjaw. He said he knows his blood. 80% sure it will grow out of it. What do you think? I mean, there's a chance he could grow out of it, and there's a chance that he won't, man. I don't believe I know my blood, and it'll grow out of it. I don't believe that. You know what I mean? But... You know, you know, maybe he knows more than I do, but I don't believe that. I don't believe, you know, I'm not saying that it. there is a chance that it could grow out of it. There is a chance, but I wouldn't say that he knows his blood and he knows that it's going to grow out of it. That, you know, I don't believe that, but that's just me. Rock food is not easy. That is good for the dog. Rock food is not easy. That is good for the dog. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't understand what that means. Breeder. How tall is Stella? Stella is like, uh, Stella is what? I think she's, I think she's like 16 inches or something like that. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> Seven bags of raw diet, 24 50 seven pound bags for of raw diet for 2450 seven pounds for 2450 yeah you're a little too pricey for me bro god damn excuse my language but <laughs> jesus that's expensive it must be some good stuff or something bro i don't know because i don't pay nowhere near that nowhere near that i can't wait to get a pup from you killer noise Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Get with us and we'll take care of you. Where can I get, see pork chop? You can go on our channel. You can go on our channel and uh, look at our customer update videos. The last video we put up a pork chop was on uh, one of our customer updates. You know, he looks identical to stacks. Go to our customer updates playlist and look through those and you should find pork chop. And he's in ton of tons of our videos. We shared them a lot. We shared them a lot. Kim Kniff says you look handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Much respect, bro. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Salute Rob. He is going. Salute Rob. He's got a baby Prada. That's right. That's right. Rob does got a baby Prada. That 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 girl is insane. Insane me man let us use let us see pork chop yeah man i mean pork chop yeah no nah, yeah for sure i can't wait to see an update on that boy the last video we put up of him he was only 11 months old in and um boy looks amazing man looks amazing what do you feed your dogs yeah we've already gone over that a million times so very true okay one day i'm gonna get a bully from you that's what's up we appreciate it i got a beautiful female from you hope to get another soon bill huffman i'm sorry man i don't know by that name bill um what did you get a female from let me know you know, and that's another thing. A lot of the customers that are in here, you might be commenting and I might not be too familiar with your screen, you know, name. So please don't take it personal. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, some of our other customers are real heavy in those comments and stuff. And I get to know them like that. If you have like, just like your regular name or something that might not click to me, you know what I mean? So, you know, it is no disrespect. Please don't take it that way for anybody that is thinking, okay, hey, man, he don't ever say nothing about me, you know, anything like that, man, it, the, please don't take it personal. I just, I, I, you know, I, there's a lot of people to, to remember, you know what I mean? And, and my memory ain't that, that good. Did you bring a drink this time? Yes, yes, yes. I, you know what? I'm glad you said that because I sure do need a drink. Yes, I did. I appreciate that, though, Brittany. Appreciate that. Is there a set price for pet quality dogs? No, nah, it really just depends, man. And it just depends on how 
You know, I mean, and that's another thing, man, is we're not going to be one of those kennels that sells pet quality dogs for dirt cheap. We're not going to do that because I'll tell you what, a lot of these people just use that pet quality for a way to get a cheap dog. You know what I mean? Then I sell them a pet quality dog with papers and then they're out at the dog show showing it and breeding it and everything. So really we don't do that much of a better price for a pet quality dog. We just put it up front with people and we just want the dog to go to a pet home. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't say, you know, because I'll tell you right now, I'm a judge, you know, I'm an actual judge. I judge these dog shows and I'll tell you what, about 80% of the dogs that I go over in the show ring all have bad bites there, you know, and there's dogs that are in several grand champions in several different registries that have a bad bite. You understand what I'm saying? And, um, you know, so what do I do? I got a dog with a bad bite. I go ahead and sell it for dirt cheap. And then this guy just treats it like I would have sold him a dog to breed. You know what I mean? And so we don't really give that much of a better deal for a pet quality dog. We're not one of those people that do that. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Like I said, you know, a lot of these dogs have bad bites and stuff it's part of the breed man these you know what i mean it's an american bully these things happen you know what i mean like i said majority of the dogs that i check in the show ring as far as american bullies exotic bullies and things like that lots of them have bad bites it's just part of the breed man it really is what's it is there okay have you ever regret selling a dog i've regretted selling a dog a million times a million times but then again like i said you can't keep everything ha ha i choked on my coffee 500 or i'll burn your papers online yeah man i mean it is what it is man i don't care you know what i mean like if you're going to refund it, I would have tried to refund the whole thing, man. 500? What the hell? Like, yeah, man. I, You know, I would have tried to refund the whole thing and just, it is what it is. But, you know, like I said, and, you know, I think that's what we're going to start doing, too, with just certain situations as far as, like, holding the paperwork for a little bit to make sure everything goes through 1,000 and then sending out the papers. You know what I mean? Killinois has been subbed to you since there were only 2,000 subs. Ain't going nowhere. Getting my pup from Killinois. Appreciate that, Tammy. Appreciate that. Sarge and Ric Flair are slept on. Yeah, man. I mean, we got a lot of people always asking about Sarge and Ric Flair, and they're not slept on, man. It's just, uh, you know, we, we got a lot of nice dogs over here, man. We got a lot of nice dogs on over here, man. And, uh, you know, Sarge is actually in a pet home right now. He's in a pet home. He's with the guy that actually picked up Sarge's dad, which is also in a pet home. Clutch and Sarge, which Clutch is Sarge's father, they're both in the same household. Is a slight kink pet quality or no? <clears throat> I mean, you know, um... You know, I mean, it really just depends on the dog, man. And it depends, you know, I, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, you know, like, um, you know, in the, in the show ring, are you talking about, like, are you talking about, you know, it, it really just depends, man. It really just depends. I mean, a, a really a kink tail is a pet quality dog, you know what I mean? But that doesn't mean you can't you know, breed it or put it in a show or any of that stuff. You know what I mean? There's plenty of people that do it all the time. It would, I recommend, Hey, you know, start a whole bloodline off of a dog with a kink tail or something like that. No, but you know what I mean? There's dogs out there. If it is a physically a perfect dog, you know, I would rather have a dog with a kink tail than a high rear, you know, like a crazy high rear. I'd rather have that, you know what I mean? 
And these are bully breeds, man. You're going to run into issues, man, especially with breeding extreme bullies, breeding, you know, you're going to, you're going to get faults. You know what I mean? There is no such thing as a perfect dog. I don't care if it even, if, 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 if it's a show quality of dog, it's, there's still no such thing as a perfect dog. What are tips or tricks you got to say when looking for a bully pup? head game size would a potential small head grow into a massive one yeah anything's possible man you can't really look at a pup and just say <laughs> oh excuse me you can't really just look at a pup and just know what's gonna happen you know what i mean and you know i've seen dogs that look like they didn't really have that big a head boom i have a monster head I've seen pups with that look like they had the biggest head end up with not the biggest head. You know what I mean? So really that stuff's in God's hands. And I'll tell you what, dogs go through growth spurts like crazy, man. So, you know, I, I don't, you know, I mean, of course you want to go off of what you can see, but nothing's guaranteed. ABKC or BRC and why? I mean, you know, I, you know, that, you know, um, I'm BRC, I'm a BRC global judge. So I'm going to say BRC global, but you know, the ABKC is, you know, the, you know, the creator of the American bully, you know what I mean? So I rock out with both of them. I rock out, you know, I rock out with both. So I'm not going to get into that one. You know what I mean? I rock out with both. Okay. Do you have any, do you, do you all ever sell dogs or just puppies? Every, you know, every now and then you might be able to come across an adult for sale for us. If we do have an adult that's going to be for sale. And usually we try to find a, you know, find a spot for it local so we can kind of keep it around. And then if we can't, then we might post it up here for sale or something like that. But it isn't something that always happens, but we do from time to time. H-Town, Texas. Love the way your dogs look. Beautiful. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thanks for your time. No problem. Anytime. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate all you guys still tuned in, man. Again, if you're new in here and you haven't already, please make sure you guys hit that like button. And, um, you know, we're going to be in here for a little bit, man. Like I said, I'm waiting for my girl to get off work. I don't know exactly what time she gets off work. I'm going to be in here rocking out with you guys until then. So she, you know, she, she works at a, she, she's the manager at this little bar and grill spot type of deal. And she kind of gets off when, whenever there, it's okay to get off. So that's why I just said, you know what, I'm gonna pull up here. I got to pick her up anyways. I'll pull up here and have a, uh, you know, do a little live with y'all until she gets out. I would like to get a fire mail, start me a kennel. That's what's up, man. Get with us and we'll take care of you. I am keeping my eye out for another nice female. That's what's up, Bill Hoffman. I'm trying to think of who you are. Are you Bill? Are you um, located in Canada, Bill Hoffman? I, I, I can't remember who you are, bud. Hey, Dayton, I heard you say something about, say, I heard you say cut PayPal back. What payment methods are you accepting now? We're accepting Cash App and Zelle for the most part. You know, um, we will not deal with PayPal no more, man. After that last time, just we're not going to deal with it no more. We handle too good of business to be getting screwed over at the end, man. You know what I mean? This guy sent us his money while he was in a different state. And we did right by him. And he turned around and tried to screw us over. And um, we just ain't dealing with that no more, man. So PayPal is completely out of the, it's done. You know, and that's another thing while saying is a lot of these breeders be putting out misinformation. I seen a breeder on YouTube telling you guys, don't buy a dog with Cash App. Do not buy a dog with Cash App because you won't be able to get your money back. Well, I don't know what kind of business he runs, but I'm not selling no dogs to anybody to give them their money back. You know what I mean? Like this is a D you know, this is a transaction. What do you mean? Get your money back. So like, 
that was weird as hell to me. So don't listen to everything you hear on YouTube. A lot of these guys are full of shit. Three-year-old, four-year-old breeders that have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Excuse my language. But, uh, I'm Midwest Thrones. I live in Aurora, Illinois for that raw diet. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. I can't remember what you said. I think you said seven pounds for $25 or something. That's kind of, man, I wonder, I wonder what you got in there. I need a hookup. I need a hookup. On, <laughs> I need a better deal, bro. That's kind of expensive from what I know of raw, but you know, to each their own, man. Maybe you got that. You know, maybe you got the best raw out here. More power to you, bro. Love Napoleon. Got a son off of him and Juliet. That's what's up. That's what's up, Al Prophet. I wonder which boy you got ended up with. I got a real nice boy off of that as well. I can't wait to show him to you guys. That's how long we keep dogs on the low for over here. I got a male off of that litter that you guys don't even know about yet. And just wait till I show him to you. He's insane. Remember, I'm still waiting on the updates on the pups from the Vanilla Gorilla and White Widow. All that stuff's going to be coming, man. Like uh, old boy said in here earlier, those pups just hit a, are just hitting a year old today. So we're going to be expecting a lot of updates from all those dogs coming here really soon. You know, I don't really push for updates on the dogs, you know, up under a year old. You know what I mean? A lot of those dogs are still filling in to the dog that they're going to be. You know what I mean? They're nowhere near... You know, and, and like I said, a nine, 10 month old dog, that is the linkiest stage of a lot of these dogs' lives. Like I mentioned earlier, white folks, when he was a year old, I was debating on getting rid of him. You know what I mean? So um, I don't really bug people too much. You know, some dogs grow better than others. Some dogs, you know, don't go through linky stages. But for the most part, I would say about 95% of them do. You know, so, and those are the ones that I'm not just kicking down people's doors, asking for updates. If they take out the time and get some real good footage and send me something to where you could really tell what that dog's looking like, then we'll love to put it on here. You know what I mean? So, you know, for anybody that's watching, send out those updates, man. No, that is cool. You are, that's cool. You are family oriented. I'm sorry, I don't, man, that's, man, I'm kind of catching up on some old stuff. Sorry about that, guys. Still waiting on papers, or waiting on updates. Yeah, 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 yep. Which techniques would you, would, which, te which techniques would and wouldn't apply when trying to get a head game size of being with the best of them? What techniques would and wouldn't apply when trying to get head game size to hang with the best of them? I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't understand what you're saying there, man. I'm sorry about that, bro. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm not quite sure, bro. Bro, I grabbed. I man, I can't really see what that says. I just grabbed the same. Damn. Man, my eyes is bad right now. I just grabbed the same brand and totally... Damn. Let me see here. That ain't doing nothing but just light me up. Bro, can... I just grabbed that... Man, I can't see it. Man, you guys... What is it? Damn. I need to figure out how to turn this brightness up, man. Sorry about that, y'all. Sorry about that. Let me get this together here. Let me see if I can somehow... Somehow turn the brightness up here. Ah. Alright. I just grabbed that 
Damn, man. My my eyes are tore up here, boy. It's too dark right here. Uh, salute from New Orleans, Los An or Louisiana. Keep up the good work. Appreciate that. Whoever's comments, man, I just I can't see that. I'm sorry about that, man. Give me a call. Maybe I can help you out on that for breeding. My my raw is basically 350 a pound because I Man, y'all, I'm really, really sorry. Right now, I'm having a hard time making out any of this stuff, man. It, it it looks like it's nice and lit up here, but it's not, man. It is dark in here right now. Let me see what's up here. Maybe that It's Chuck Beef. Beef has beef additive, grain tripe. Yeah, man, that's... That's what's up, man. That's what's up. It's ready to rock and roll. Then you ain't got to feed anything else. That's what's up, bro. I'm not trying to knock your knock your raw or anything like that, man. Shit, get your money, bro. And I'll tell you what. There's a lot of people out there that uh need raw right now. You know, we were actually on a real little, little hold up our damn selves right now with that raw. What is your all time favorite production? The one you had the best connection with man i would say you know uh you know as far as like connection and stuff like that i would say probably my boy monster man i love that boy i love that boy his name is killinoy kennels monster of the midway he was a rocky son he come out of rocky my boy rocky and he come out of my girl shebo so he was Rocky and Debo mixed in one dog. And he is one of my favorite all-time productions. He had the look of Rocky and Debo all blended into one dog. And I got videos, videos of them on this channel. You know, make sure you guys go back and check out some of those other, you know, some of those older videos. You can see a video of Monster. I mean, he was amazing, man. And like I said... You know, he was one of my favorites because he had the look of both of my foundation studs. You know, the dogs that really put Killinoy Kennels on the map. He had that, you know, he was a Rocky son bred to a Debo daughter. And, man, he was awesome. And that whole litter was awesome. The whole litter was. Big D, when are you going to have some extreme pockets? We always have extreme pockets, man. Don't let, you know, don't be fooled. The puppies we have right now, are there's some extreme pockets for sure. Did you do outside breeding? And if so, how do you go about approving females? Yeah, we have done some outside breedings, you know what I mean? I recently... You know, uh, just had a litter off of an outside breeding with the Odysseus and Sativa litter. So, um, and as far as approving females, you just got to send us some pictures. Send us some pictures of your dogs. Um, send us some picture of your females. Send us some video. And also, um, you know, send us a, a little, you know, a little look of their pedigree so we know exactly what type of dog we're dealing with. Like I said... You know, as long as your dog checks out as an American bully all the way around the board, we'll, um, you know, and is a quality dog, you know what I mean? And, you know, that's what we're looking to, we're looking for real nice quality females, you know what I mean? And uh, we try not to just put our dogs on anything, you know what I mean? We want them to be dogs of our level or close to that, you know what I mean? Still wait, hey man, for anybody that's, that's, uh messaging right now do me a favor and type in caps caps that'll help me out a lot right now if you guys want me to stay on here and continue talking and things like that if you guys are going to take off please make sure you hit that like button and if you're just now joining it in here please make sure you hit that like button still waiting yeah man we know bro will with a musk with a muscular with a muscular build pocket and to breed to a muscular standard could a heavy set muscle 
extreme bully be produced and what health risks to look for yeah man yeah man don't be so concentrated on those don't be so concentrated on those uh on those classes man that is uh don't be so concentrated on those classes that you know anybody that thinks you can't produce a bully dog with a standard you know you sh you shouldn't be thinking like that you know a lot of people are scared they're like i want a pocket i want a pocket you know what i mean but most of your fav you know depending on what you know most of your favorite dogs that are pocket bullies most of those dogs that are your favorites probably came off of a standard dog you know what i mean so the only way to get a pocket with a big old head and a big bone and stuff like that you gotta use a bigger dog you have to so can you please say if your next litter will have a twenty five hundred dollar female <laughs> um I'm not a thousand percent sure on that. I don't want to make many promises I can't keep, but you know, probably something where right there along those lines, maybe 3000, something like that. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Not a hundred percent sure. My 10 month old bully just had ACL surgery. Little hog is 87 pounds pocket solid. Yeah, man. He, you know, uh, if he's, depending on how tall he is man and he's that heavy and a pocket that might be the reason why he had a torn acl you know what i mean you might want to drop his weight just a tad bit the 87 pound you know it just depends on the dog man it depends on how tall your dog is a pocket can be several different heights you know what i mean so it depends but that might have been why he tore his acl What's your favorite bully of all time? You know, my favorite bully of all time is Killinoy Kennel's Debo. You know, and that's my foundation stud. You know, that dog was like my son. That's my favorite all-time American bully. You know, if we're going down, you know, down to the dogs that got me started when I got started, my favorite American bullies outside of my yard were like uh, Razor's Edge Cairo, Razor's Edge Short Shot. Master P's Buck and a Quarter, Master P Kennel's Hennessy, which is Razor's Edge Hennessy. I like a lot of those old school edge dogs. That's where I came from. That's where I started from my spe myself specifically, you know. Um, our kennel, Killinoy Kennels, started out as a real, real heavy Razor's Edge kennel. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, for sure. What it do, bad boy bullies, Bahamas in the house. That's what's up, bad boy bullies in Bahamas. Shout out to you for tuning in. Man, Blue Enzo Boy is probably one of my favorite studs out of your yard. Is he still around? What about drive down, pick up the pup, and pay? Man, we, <laughs> you know, as far as Enzo, Enzo's not around no more. Enzo had passed away, you know. I'm not one of these guys that gets on YouTube and tries to, you know, benefit off my dogs dying. I take it very bad and I don't talk about it because I don't want to think about it. And if I'm doing videos on dog, you know, I'm not saying that I would never do one, but I try not to, man, because it hurts, you know, it hurts me when we lose dogs and stuff like that, man. And I don't need to put on a show for it. Nobody really truly cares. And, um, you know, people just want to see your downfalls. So I don't really, I don't really post, a, you know, stuff like that. But, uh, so that's why you might not know Enzo. This is actually the first time I've ever told anybody that Enzo isn't around. So, um, but, um, as far as like picking, as far as coming down and picking up a puppy in person, you know, it's kind of hard to do that with the way we do these things because, um, you know, once we drop that video, you got to pay for that dog, get that dog paid for, and then you can come down and pick it up. You know what I mean? 
we try to keep this fair for everybody and if i you know you know we don't have a have a problem of you coming and getting the dog we just have you got to get that dog paid for to lock it in for it to be your dog to pick up so i mean it just it, you know it it, it just kind of depends on the situation her blood is white folks and nala she is a beautiful female oh okay yeah that's what's up that dog's located out there in canada big shout out to you bill huffman what technique would you use or not use when breeding for bigger head size? You got to use a big dog with a big head. You know what I mean? You're not going to get, you know, I, like I said, I'm a firm believer is you're not going to get, a, uh, you're not going to get a badass pocket American bully with this big dumbass head by using a pocket nine times out of 10. That isn't going to happen. <clears throat> you need a little bit bigger dog pay attention like if you know like you know for all you guys that are you know in the bully world heavy and you've you know about all these dogs and all this stuff pay attention to the dogs that you like okay if you like this certain specific dog go look at his dad nine times out of nine times out of ten his dad his dad is probably going to be a standard American bully with a, you know, a big, st bigger style dog. You, you know, and a lot of people don't really understand that, man. And they still don't see it. People have been tripping off of this pocket thing for so long. But the baddest pockets in the world come off of bigger dogs. And I'm mark my words. What's up? What's up, my guy? Do you do Cash App or Zelle? Yeah, that's what we do. Cash App and Zelle. What age can you what age can a pup go outside? You know, it just depends who you are, man. If you're a super paranoid person like me, I don't put them down until at least second set of shots, maybe third. You know what I mean? But I'm just paranoid like that. I I just uh, you know, I don't let my dogs go around people's dogs that aren't my dogs. I don't um you know, I don't, I don't, you know, do stuff like that. I use, I usually let them at least get two sets of shots in before I take them outside and let them play on, you know, ground that isn't around my area. You know what I mean? So I be very careful with puppies. Very, very careful. I just don't need no, you know, I, I'm, I'm very, I'm super careful and paranoid when it comes to that. You know, I got breeder friends that, you know, will come have, you know, have been to my kennel and checked out my dogs and, you know, I, and I'd have puppies inside and say, Hey, you can't go in there. You know what I mean? They'd be like, come on, man, let me see the puppy. I'm like, nah, man, sorry. You can't go by the puppies. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that type of deal. So I'm just paranoid when it comes to that type of stuff, man. You never know what people are bringing in and you know, you never know what people are bringing into your, you know, environment, man. And, and that's anywhere you go, you know, like I highly would, I highly recommend not taking your dogs to dog parks because that's where everybody takes their dogs. And a lot of people just don't take good care of their dogs. You know what I mean? So you're never going to see me taking one of my dogs to the dog park. I'll go to the human park with my dog. You know what I mean? I asked all my questions last live, but I still had, I'm still here to learn something new every time. That's what's up, Brittany. Thanks for tuning in. Can you see now joking? Man, I can't. Yeah, I can see now and that works. That works good. How do you, yeah, throw that caps lock on there. That, that makes it seem, that makes me be able to read real good, man. I got to get me some little contacts or some glasses for these lives and stuff it's just super small on my phone i'm not like a blind person i could see for the most part but what i'm looking at is little 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 words on here so sorry about that though i'm trying to get it together y'all how do you get rid of an underbite and a high rear <laughs> i mean man it's you know i don't think there's any specific thing you know I don't think there's anything specific that's just going to get rid of all that. You know what I mean, man? Like, you know, 
definitely don't breed it. If you're going to breed it, don't breed it to a dog that has a high rear or underbite. That's for damn sure. Not all dogs are meant to be bred, man. So depends on what you got, you know, like the exotic, the exotic bully. They actually, that's part of their breed. That is allowed in the exotic bully. Very, you know, very much so more than the American bully. Like even in the American bully, it's allowed, but not preferred. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, you know, it's going to be, you got some work ahead of you on that one. Big D, I need a boy ASAP. Yeah, we got some really nice boys going to be available, man. Like I said, we got four different litters on the ground right now. Some real, real nice pups all the way around the board. What's up, Dayton? Pups sold out. Looking for a, look. what's that? Looking for a forward to future litters. No, the pups ain't sold out, man. We haven't put them up for sale yet. We haven't put them up for sale yet. And um, yeah, we haven't put them up for sale yet. They will be for sale here really soon. We got, you know, two real nice litters that's going to go up at first. And then after that, we got two litters coming up behind that as well. None of the pups are spoken for. Not one single pup. So anybody that's in here watching, anybody interested has a fair shot at, uh, you know, getting one of those pups. Yeah, I've seen someone completely ruin a pup's posture because of overfeeding. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, you can do that too. You don't really want to keep your pups all crazy fat, you know? I told somebody that recently and he thought I was like trying to hold him back. I'm like, nah, man, it, I'm not hating on you, bro. I'm not trying to hold you back. I'm letting you know if you keep your pups too fat when they're small, while they're growing, it's going to mess up their posture. Yeah, it'll mess up their you know, yeah, it can. So it's not a real good idea to just like crazy overly feed your puppies. You know what I mean? It's not. That chocolate boy out of white folks and Prada is badass. I'm looking for the drop for the drop video. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. All that's coming here really soon. Make sure you stay tuned. Love y'all's quality of bulls, bro. Appreciate that trucking truck and bog i have some of that lock and loaded blood a few generations back that's what's up man that's what's up do you have any regrets in your bully career man i'm i'm sure i do a lot probably you know i regret i didn't keep this dog regret i didn't breed this dog to this dog regret man yeah i got a lot of regrets you know I got a lot of regrets, but I mean, you know, that's just, that, I've been doing this for a very long time too, man. You know what I mean? And I learned a lot of stuff the hard way, man. I didn't have people to tune in to and learn, you know, and a lot of people, you know, even, you know, a lot of people are super secretive about all their little tricks and everything they've went through and things like that, man. So I had to learn a lot of stuff, you know, through personal experiences not through somebody walking me through it you know what i mean so you know i've learned the hard way on some things and i've had some good some good things happen too you know i'm guessing you've seen the marlin video that marlin video man i don't even know who marlin is man to be honest with you but and I mean that my whole heart. I have no idea what you're talking about or who you're talking about. But if it had something to do with me talking about YouTube shit, I'm not talking about nobody specific. Specific. You need to know that. Just because it hits on a certain person doesn't mean I was talking about them. That's just how much I'm keeping it real, man. A lot of these guys on YouTube... Here, let me show you how to do this. Man, they just don't got good enough dogs to put up videos 
they don't got good enough dogs to put up videos of their dogs, man. They're trying to draw you in with some other shit. You know what I mean? And you know, my, that's the reason why we don't do a bunch of how to videos and things like that. If you know, I can get on here, you can call me and ask me a question anytime you want. You know, I get on here, you can ask me questions, I'll let you know what I think or whatever, you know what I mean? But we don't do those how-to videos because we don't have to do those how-to videos, man. We got enough uh we got enough quality stuff to put up to where we don't have to do those, you know? A lot of those guys use those how-to videos because they know that's how you get some, gain some traffic on YouTube how to worm your dog or how to do this or how to do that but a lot of those guys are putting out bullshit information that it doesn't even make sense i don't know who marlin is i'm not talking about marlin because i don't know who he is and i don't know what video you're talking about if it hit with him i'm sorry but it's not about him i'm talking about just breeders in general there is a lot a lot a lot of breeders on this youtube shit that are faking the funk to the fullest you understand what i'm saying how's a guy that's been breeding dogs three years three years gonna he knows it all because i don't know it all and i've been doing this shit my whole life you understand what i'm saying so don't take everything you see on here too serious. Again, this is not about Marlon because I don't even know who Marlon is. Okay, so I'm glad you said that because if it did hit for him and he's watching and he's thinking I'm talking about him, no, because I don't know Marlon. <laughs> what up, what upcoming breeding exotics? what what okay my bad what upcoming breeding you excited about doing this year man we don't you know like for one we don't promote too far in the future we don't want to sit there and promote a breeding crazy crazy before it happens because what if it doesn't take then we wasted all that energy promoting some shit that didn't even go down so we don't really promote that far ahead of time man um, I'm excited about everything that we got going on because we don't do no half stepping over here, man. We're not one of those kennels that just has one good breeding going on a year, man. We try to hit with every litter. You know what I mean? I'm 15 and I'm in love with Razor's Edge. When I get a female, I'm going to go back to breed it with Ace of Spades love him that's what's up man that's what's up i'm in love with razor's edge dogs too you know for anybody you know for sure ace of spades is a bad boy for anybody that's really in the razor's edge dogs i highly recommend you check out our boy dark low man that boy's got one of the most amazing razor's edge pedigrees you will find on any dog in this world and that's not no line of bullshit man i'm telling you for real What do you think of the American Pitbull Terrier to an XL Bully Cross? I think you shouldn't be doing that at all. And it ain't no bully. If if you do that, it's not a bully. It's not an American bully. And there's no such thing as a bully, man. You got to be more specific these days. American bully, exotic bully, things like that, man. Because that word bully is really ruining all these breeds everybody just thinks a bully is a bully an american bully is a bully an exotic bully is a bully and i'm gonna take my bully and breed it to my other bully you know what i mean you gotta be a little bit more specific these days and i'm not trying to tell you how to do or what to do or how to talk but i'm saying it is smart to do that because like i said it's confusing to these people that are just getting into these dogs and they don't fully understand that. And then the next thing you know, they're doing messed up breedings and they don't even know that they're doing messed up breedings. Say worst case scenario, can you breed out east and west feet or high rear? Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can. You can, you know what I mean? Don't, you know what I mean? Like, dude, that's the thing is no dog is perfect. 
I don't care. There's not no such thing as a perfect dog. And especially when you're breeding big, extreme American bullies, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you're never going to have an absolute perfect dog. You know what I mean? You know, I don't care whose dog it is and what they say. They don't have a perfect dog. I promise you that. And I get, I'm a, I'm a judge. I get paid to people to tell people that their dogs ain't perfect. You know what I mean? I promise you, there's no such thing as a perfect dog in this whole world. So you can breed those things out. You just gotta make sure, you know, if you're gonna breed a dog like that, just don't go breed it to the same shit. You know what I mean? Don't go breed it to a dog that's all messed up with the same Easty Westy. Look for a dog with some straight fronts. You know what I mean? Look for, you know, try to breed it to a dog with some straight fronts and try to, you know, fix that. And that's another thing, man. You could take two perfectly straight front dogs, right? Two dogs with perfect straight fronts. And what I mean by straight fronts is not Easty Westy feet. You could take two dogs with perfectly straight feet and breed them together and get a whole litter of Easty Westy. You know what I mean? It's just, like I said, man, this breeding stuff is more of a gamble, man. You get lucky or you don't. You know, that's the way I look at it. How long do you recommend feeding your replacement females puppy puppies food or do you feed them raw? Nah, man, you know what I mean? Like, you know, um, let me read that again. How long do you recommend feeding your replacement females puppies? Your replacement females puppies? Puppy food? I don't understand what you mean, but I mean, you know, as far as our puppies, you know, we feed them uh, milk replacement and puppy food and you know give them a little bit of raw here and there too you know what i mean just like we do with our adults he's about 15 in 15 inches at the withers and 10 months old 87 pounds muscle how much taller do you think he will get you know usually by about 10 months old that's about as tall as they'll get you know what i mean they might get a tad bit taller tad bit taller but you know that's a pretty you know that's a nice sized dog how much is that chocolate and white that female's going to be going for four thousand i mean you i emailed you about an interview breeders yeah i don't know man I don't know if I got it or not, man. I know some, you know, I've had a few people reach out to me about interviews and stuff and I emailed them back and never heard anything back. So I don't know if that was you or not, but, um, but, um, if you're interested in doing an interview, just, uh, give me a call, you know, sometime tomorrow or something and we can try to make it happen. You know, what it just depends on where you're going to be, uh, where you're going to be, uh, doing it from get them neutered too early stunts their growth um i don't know if that i don't know if that happens i don't know if that's i don't know i don't know if that's right or not maybe maybe got me a male i'm regret getting is why i'll stick with your bloodlines got me a mail i regret getting that's why i will stick with your bloodlines sorry to hear that bill hoffman man yeah just you know get with us man we'll definitely take care of you haha -ha, keep it 100 and much respect sorry man i don't know where that came from but i appreciate it i pass by springfield a lot if is it possible to be in the area i'd like to check out i'd like to check out one of your studs possibly breed to yeah man yeah you know if you're in the area you know hit me up and we could definitely meet up with you and let you check out one of our boys you know just depending on you know give us a little heads up and you know that way i you know this dog might be with a buddy of mine and I, he might be at work i might need you know i might need to work it out with him so just give me a call you know and give us a little bit of a heads up don't just pop up on us because that probably won't happen 
But if you give us a call, give us a little heads up, we could probably make that happen for you. All right, bro, I'm out. Keep up the awesome work. I'll keep watch, watching the videos. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Big shout out to everybody that's still tuned in, man. I don't know what's going on with my girl, man. She she must be working the late night shift here, boy. But uh, if my girl's on here watching, I'm at Walgreens right around, just right over here. Let me know. Hey, brother, there is really good. Pro hey, brother, there is a really good program. I don't know if you heard of them, but it's called Highway Heroes, and they ship dogs for donations. It's a good cause to add to saving customers. Yeah, man. I don't know about that one. That don't even sound right to me, but hey, brother, there's a really good program i don't know if you heard of them but it's called highway heroes and they ship dogs for donations yeah i don't know man that you know i'm not gonna say it is but that i don't know about that one that sounds kind of weird to me i don't know how they could pay for you know what i mean like i'd hope they get some good donations that's expensive that's an expensive thing to be playing with driving all over the world like all over the united states like that how to lock in strong genetics the safest way. What's your strategy for inbreeding? <laughs> um, you know, with me, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, we're not too, you know, we don't really do too much inbreeding. I'm not saying that we never will. Damn. But, uh, well, that sucks. But I'm, I'm not saying that we will um, never do an inbreeding. But uh, for the most part, for the most part, we don't really do them, you know what I mean? I, like I said, you know, there's going to come a time that we will, you know, especially with this white folks blood. I'm looking forward to doing some, uh, you know, at least doing something with it, you know, at least trying it once. But, um, but yeah, you know, as far as, you know, I wouldn't do like, uh, You know, I don't know, man. You know, like I said, I'm not, I've never been a big fan of inbreeding. And I'll tell you what, there's never been a time that I did an inbreeding on purpose. I had an inbreeding happen on accident once. And I did do an inbreeding with a guy with a, you know, he used my stud. You know, um, I wasn't against letting him try his luck on an inbreeding. And he wanted, you know, it was a good friend of mine. He wanted to do an inbreeding with my boy Debo. And he bred Debo to his half sister. They had the same father, but different mothers. And I'll tell you what, that breeding turned out great. We ended up with some really nice dogs, no major faults. And, you know, it was a really nice breeding. I'm not a big fan of doing inbreedings because, you know, they could either go really, really good or they could go really, really bad. And, um, you know, but there's really only one way to find out and that's try it. You know, I'm not saying that I'm against, uh, you know, that I would never do it because you might see us do one here in the near future, but you know, that's not something that I'm going to constantly be doing over here or we are going to be constantly doing over here. You know what I mean? But if you uh, inbreeding isn't near as bad as everybody thinks, you know what I mean? Especially, you know, when you're talking about dogs and stuff, you know, that's how breed every dog did every dog in this world was inbred at one point in time, whether it was its parents, grandparents, great grandparents, there's inbreeding involved in all breeds. That's how you actually make a breed. You know how, you know, other breeds are made up of several different breeds. Well, the only way you get consistency once you get the look you want is to inbreed them dogs. Have you ever heard of QBN Kennels? He's on YouTube, a very smart dude. Um, I think I've seen his videos going through my, you know, going through my news feed and stuff like that, but I'm not real familiar with them, no. Fifteen. 
what's this says 15 and have a part-time job working on trying to get one of your dogs got 2500 so far i'm close man I have to get my bread right first man that's what's up man big shout out to you for putting in that work and you know doing what you got to do to obtain what you want man and not complaining about it big shout out to you bud and i'll tell you what you're real close and uh if you're really 15 and you give me a call sometime we'll work something out with you but i'm out i'm out of st louis so i'm gonna call you tomorrow bro that's what's up give us a call man give us a call thank you for the replies man i trust your judgment on things in the bully game glad he's not glad he's not gonna get too much taller i'll definitely try to back him off the eating so much to help his acl yeah i mean if he's crazy fat right now man and he's dealing with that you'll definitely want to drop his weight a little bit and that'll make everything heal up good and all that man so most definitely most definitely but uh where we at here that baby james you showed us was a great looking dog can't wait to see him drop something with him Man, that's the thing is we got some real stuff, some real nice stuff going down with baby James. It's going to be coming here really soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Yeah, that shit ain't working. All right, I need one. The females I got from you top. The female I got from you tops everything about intelligent everything and does them. The mail I got from another kennel. I appreciate it what you are doing. Keep it up. Appreciate that, man. I'm glad everything worked out for you with that female, man. And, uh, you know, if you want a real nice boy, get with us and we'll definitely take care of you, man. And like I said, that's somebody out in Canada with our blood right there for the people that asked earlier. Are all the breedings you do pocket or do you do XL or exotic? We don't do too many xl breedings and we don't deal with exotics at all over here we're an american bully kennel almost bought me a male the other day but i decided not to i'd rather wait and get a good quality get a good quality bull from killinois kennels hey man that's what i recommend man you know for the people that are impatient that's usually what happens when you get impatient, you go grab some stuff that you didn't normally want and you wasn't really, uh, you know, interested in to begin with. That's how you end up getting screwed over and getting something you wish you wouldn't have bought, you know. So, you know, I, you know, much respect to you for sure. What's the average cost of a female bully? Uh, man, you know, like I said, our prices are on an average of twenty-five to thirty-five hundred. Sometimes they're a little bit more, sometimes they're a little bit less. And, um, you know, um, but, uh, you know, the next litter that we got coming, the next litters that we're going to be having available on this channel are going to be priced from three to 4,500. And those are the next two litters that we got coming up. If you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, make sure you guys stay tuned because we do got some coming up after that you know what i mean thank you for your advice and live yeah no problem man i'm starting to catch up with you guys man i've answered every single one of these questions so if you guys got anything else you want to talk about or anything just drop them in the comments i'm caught all the way up so if you have a question that didn't get answered now the time's to drop it what age do you let your males try their first stud? <clears throat> you know, we're not in a hurry, man. We got so many dogs and so many studs over here, man, that we're not in the biggest hurry. We're not in the biggest hurry to breed our dogs like that, man. So, you know, we usually won't breed a male unless he's over a year old. You know what I mean? But that's just how we do it, you know? You can breed a male. I think, what, I think some registries allow you to breed a male up to up to uh you know like at 10 months old or something so i'm not 100 percent sure but 
I, we're not in hurry over here to breed our dogs, man. We don't just not just super thirsty to breed them like that but you know you can breed them young and it doesn't hurt to breed them i mean it's let's be real what is the male doing he's just getting off you know what i mean so it it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt to breed them you know what i mean but we're just not in a hurry to breed dogs like that we want to let a dog fully develop that way you guys know what kind of quality it is you know what i mean if i got a dog that doesn't look so hot at a year old like white folks but when he's three years old, he's an amazing dog. You know what I mean? We, we, you know, I never bred white folks until he hit three. You know what I mean? So I didn't breed white folks at a year old. I was thinking about selling his ass. And boy, I'm glad I didn't, man, because he's, you know, one of our best producing studs right now. You know, all the favorites you guys seen and some of the dogs that you haven't seen come off of that boy white folks, man. I'm so proud of that dog. It's not even funny, man. I'm about to go give him a steak when I get home. That's how proud I am of that boy, man. Because I'll tell you what, he outdoes himself. White folks is the true meaning of a producer. You know, he's the true meaning of a producer. He outdoes himself off of every litter. It's one thing to reproduce yourself. It's a whole nother thing to throw better than yourself. And I'll tell you what, that boy does it every time. What do you do when a dog get, has diarrhea? Everything the dog eats is poop out water. Man, that doesn't sound good, man. You need to get that dog into the vet. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's worms or it could be something worse, and I don't want to put that on you, but I would get that dog into the vet ASAP. Really cool of you to do this. Yeah, no problem, Wade. No problem, man. Appreciate you tuning in, man. What do you think of one of your males studying to a Merle? I don't think I want to do it, man. I don't think I want to do it. You know, I'm not saying that we'll never do that. You know what I mean? I, You know, like if this is what you want to do and it's a, you know, nice Merle, may, you know, maybe, but I don't know. I don't want to. Now, if one of my partners says, hey, man, I got a dude that wants, you know, and I'm not going to be like, well, you better not. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, you know, I don't treat my homies and partners like I'm their dad, man. So, but. I wouldn't recommend it, and I just, I'm not with it myself. Do you recommend cycles? Do you recommend cycles? What is this? Do you recommend, do you recommend cycles for your American bully? Cutting season and bulking season? Uh, nah, man, I really don't do them like that, man. I really don't do them like that, you know? I mean... You know, like, for real, with American Bullies, you don't got too much of a choice when it comes to that. You know what I mean? Like, especially, like, when the summer hits, a lot of dogs just slow up on eating and stuff like that, and they'll cut themselves out. You know what I mean? What age do you stop breeding your females? It really just ultimately depends, man. It just depends on the situation. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it just depends. I've, you know, I... I've seen people breed 10 year old females, you know, do I do that? No, not necessarily. No, but I have bred an older female before seven, maybe eight years old. You know what I mean? But that's just maybe like not, you know, that might be cause I only had one or two litters with her. You know what I mean? Like something along those lines. So, you know, you don't want to do it too old, but you know, it just really depends. I highly recommend knocking your breedings out when they're young. You know what I mean? And I, you know, when I say that I bred an older female like that, that was more when I was a little bit younger and stuff like that. Nowadays, probably wouldn't breed a dog that old. You know what I mean? But I'm talking about, man, I've been doing this stuff since I was 15 years old. You know what I mean? I, you know, back in my days, I, you know, back in the days, you know, like, you know, I was young and dumb and Stuff like that, you know what I mean? But, you know, I never would, you know, try to push it too hard like that. You know, but I know people that have bred 10, you know, I know respectable breeders that, uh, yeah, that, uh, I know respectable breeders that have 
done breedings on 10 year old females and stuff like that so i mean it just depends on your dog and how they can handle it man how they can handle it but i wouldn't you know i'm not so don't take this and say oh dayton said you could breed a 10 year old dog i didn't say that man i'm just saying i've seen people do it you know what i mean and they've had successful litters and nothing happened to the mom you know what i mean so it is what it is but you know i recommend highly recommend knocking your breedings out whenever whenever they get uh you know whenever they get you know when they're young how you recommend someone who's trying to get into starting a new their own kennel and i have a xl and he'll be a pet only not breeding I want to start with something from you to start off with. Yeah, man. I mean, it just ultimately, ultimately depends on, uh, my girl just walked up here, man. But, uh, but, um, but yeah, it just, uh, you know, it ultimately depends on how much room you got and things like that. Come on. Um, it ultimately depends on how much room you got and how much money you got to spend and things like that, man. Make sure you check out that other live. I kind of break that down for a little bit better. When's the next show are you judging? Um, I'm supposed to be judging a show out in Northern California, April 24th, but you know that show might be getting canceled, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on. But man, you know what, man? I'm going to go ahead and call it one, y'all. We've been on here for three hours and 15 minutes man my girl just got off work here and um yeah you gonna say something to him hello <laughs> all right y'all man we're gonna go ahead and go get some food and call it one man big shout out to all you guys if you guys are dipping up out of here right now please do me a favor and hit that like button if you haven't already let me see what you what got you into the bully game man i always love pit bulls man i started out with pit bulls and you know we'll talk about that on another one man we'll talk about that on another one man big shout out to all you guys man i wish i could keep this rolling but we need to go take care of a few things and uh big shout out to all you guys for tuning in and again for everybody that's interested in purchasing one of these pups from our next litter make sure you guys stay tuned it's going to be going down man Man, what's up, Buck? Doug Bisbee? I see you there, man. Big shout out to you. If you go out. Yeah, man. Big shout out to all you guys, man. Thanks, thanks for all the love, everybody. And uh, y'all have a good Easter, good weekend. And uh, you know, I'm gonna try to have that video up for you guys on on Monday, maybe Tuesday. But thanks for all the love and support, everybody. Make sure y'all hit that like button. And uh, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And, uh, you know, that's about it, man. Thanks for all y'all tuning in. Appreciate y'all.